the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. Rats is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. Rats was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. Rats is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download Rats free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. The three most important things you can do for LRN.FM are, one, let your friends know you're listening to LRN.FM on your social networking profile. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.LRN.FM. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program at AMP.LRN.FM. It's my firm belief that the AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented groups. Support all your favorite organizations, but make sure you give five bucks a month to the AMP program at AMP.LRN.FM. Lock it here for more live content. Free Talk Live is next on the Liberty Radio Network. You're listening to the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates, online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Thursday, December 18th, 2014. Gold is trading around $1,194, silver around $15.88, and Bitcoin's trading around $311.73. Today's precious metal prices brought to you by Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Support for today's edition of the Liberty Beat comes from eFoods Direct Storable Food. Redefining the way you think about storable food. Learn more at eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat. In the news, on Wednesday, President Obama announced major changes in United States policy towards Cuba. Obama stated that a deal was struck with the nation to release three Cuban agents in exchange for two Americans, including an unnamed intelligence agent and U.S. aid subcontractor, Alan Gross. The president said he instructed Secretary of State John Kerry to reestablish diplomatic relations with Cuba. He also stated that Kerry would reevaluate Cuba's designation as a state sponsor of terrorism. Late Wednesday, the U.S. government announced they believe North Korea was responsible for a recent cyber attack on Sony Pictures. The Associated Press reported the investigators had concluded the isolated nation was behind the hack, likely in response to the planned release of the comedy, The Interview. The film features actors Seth Rogen and James Franco playing characters who attempt to assassinate the North Korean leader. Sony Pictures also announced on Wednesday that the film would not be released on Christmas Day, as was scheduled. Diné, or Navajo communities in the Black Mesa region of northeastern Arizona, have continued to oppose mining operations on their land in the face of SWAT team raids and animal theft. The Black Mesa communities say Hopi Rangers, working with the Federal Bureau of Indian Affairs, or BIA, and the Department of the Interior, raided their land and impounded 300 sheep. Authorities accused the Navajo of exceeding the amount of sheep allowed by permit. The Navajo believe the theft is related to Peabody Energy's coal mining operations in the area. The Navajo Nation Tribal Council released a letter accusing the federal government of instigating the raids and attempting to force them off the land. The Liberty Beat is sponsored by My Magic Mud, Detox Fine Tooth Powder, the most effective and affordable dental care around. Get a 150 application jar at MyMagicMud.com. This broadcast is also made possible by the Conscious Resistance Network. 
videos, news reports, and articles from a spiritual anarchist perspective. Experience the conscious resistance at theconsciousresistance.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, December 18th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. A lawsuit has been filed against the City of San Diego and the San Diego Police Department in an effort to obtain records related to policies, rules, and procedures used with cell phone surveillance technology. The First Amendment Coalition said the SPDP has an obligation to tell San Diego citizens that it's using the invasive technology and to describe the steps it's taking, if any, to protect citizens' privacy rights. Cell site simulators, also known as stingrays, allow law enforcement to gather information about phone calls, location, contacts, and sometimes the content of conversations. Law enforcement is not required to get a warrant before using the technology. Imprisoned whistleblower Chelsea Manning celebrated her 27th birthday with letters, cards, poems, and art from people from around the world, including celebrities and fellow whistleblower Edward Snowden. Manning is currently serving a 35-year sentence at the Maximum Security U.S. Disciplinary Barracks, Fort Leavenworth. Edward Snowden wrote that Manning has inspired an angry public to demand a government that's accountable for its perpetration of torture and other war crimes. Other notes came from filmmaker Terry Gilliam, rapper Lupe Fiasco, and poet Saul Williams. The Liberty Beat is supported by Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms. Last month, the FDA approved Hallucex, a new class of weight loss drug that helps users avoid overeating by producing nightmarish hallucinations whenever food is around. Hallucex targets the brain's cerebral cortex, stimulating the centers responsible for fear and visual processing. Test subjects reported an unprecedented decrease in appetite and showed dramatic weight loss, with only 18% reporting night terrors or subsequent cardiac arrest. It's designed to make fatty and sugary foods even scarier. An apple just looks like it has fangs, but a milkshake will threaten you and your family by name. Earlier incarnations of the drug proved to be too powerful and produced mental states in which test subjects no longer believed that food had ever existed. An unshakable belief that the subject had to eat all of the food on the planet in order to prevent food from rising up and destroying the human race. Oh, you don't understand how to do this. Or the conviction that food could be negotiated with diplomatically. With the Lab Report, I'm Aisha Patel. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. You can call in, talk about whatever's on your mind. It's Mark with you. And Johnson. That's right. Ian has his, uh, his night off here. So it's us here with you. And I've got a bunch of show prep uh, that I brought in. One of the things I think is probably most important, Johnson, is we were talking about the, is it called The Interview? This is this movie that uh, right. Sony was going to release where a couple of, uh, you know, wacky slapstick reporters go yeah. <laughs> attempt to assassinate uh, Kim Jong-un. Right. And uh, I, I guess there's some relationship between the hackers and North Korea. Um, it's Supposedly they've tracked it back to... Uh, Kim Jong Un's inner circle. These hackers. I don't know how they're saying that it's somehow similar to uh, a uh, bank hack on South Korea. It's uh, hard to believe that they have. I mean, because everything we've right. seen to to do with computers over there, just it's like there's nobody who knows anything. Right. right exactly. It's like <laughs> we've got the most uh, amazing future technology uh, here in North Korea. Uh, let's show you. And then they all gather around, and it's like you know, like. One of those old. We have a laptop, and it's like the com, the the old compact like suitcase laptop that's like, you know, f like a half a foot by like three feet wide or something like that. And it's like you got to carry it around with like a a a, a, handle. a dolly or something yeah. like that. You know, <laughs> there's I, we've definitely seen video of them using cathode ray tubes. Um, I mean, that's the the, the old uh, screen technology, and well, I. I guess everything, maybe maybe they do have hackers over there. It's hard for me to believe. It seems much more likely to me that um, North Korea went and said, China, 
China, they put out a movie where they assassinate our dear leader. And they had China go do the hacking, but, you know. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I, I guess it brings up for me, I, 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 if I was Sony, I, I, and I'm not in possession of all the facts by any stretch, but it seems like I'd be r- right ready to just go ahead and release this film. Really? You think that releasing our employees' uh, social security numbers is going to stop us? Here's the thing. Here's a couple of news stories about this that just don't ring true at all. Two things. So the first is that they're saying, well, we're Sony and we're scared. We've got to not release this film because of the dangerous North Koreans. Uh Uh-huh. Right? What? Okay, sure, because North Korea, they can barely feed themselves. Somehow they're going to attack you. Okay, sure. And then the second thing that doesn't ring true about this is them saying that they're now not going to make their money on this movie that's gotten ridiculous amounts of publicity yeah and people want to see it everyone's talking about how they want to see this movie but they're not gonna make their money back because they're not gonna release it on christmas what i don't really understand it at all but then the other side of it is is how would i feel if somebody made a movie about assassinating me right i probably wouldn't like that very much so i I don't know. I mean, it's uh, it's it's a odd situation. Um, I I I guess I'm. I'm, I'm thinking twice about it a little bit with the whole assassination thing, because to me it was just, oh, well, this is, uh, you know, this is going to be, I would have never have seen it, but now I would if it was released just to go see it. Right. I'm surprised that it doesn't get leaked. You know, <laughs> like right. somebody gets it and just puts it up on the internet. Um, I, I don't know, but they must have pretty good security because that would happen with every movie, right? Right. It would happen with yeah, a lot of movies if they if they didn't have the movie if they had the movies on a server somewhere, I would think. Yeah. So I'm not entirely sure, but it's uh it's it's an interesting situation. If you have an opinion on the interview, we'd love to, uh, for you to give us a call. 855-450-3733. Do you think it's inappropriate that Sony made a movie about assassinating a world leader? Yeah, you know they picked uh, they they picked North Korea because North Korea is an easy one to take a shot at. Now, admittedly, I think the shots in North Korea are quite funny. I've seen movies on life in North Korea, and it's uh, it's bizarre and sad. Apparently, there's some theater in Texas that's deciding to go ahead, and uh, they're like, "Well, you want a movie about North Korea? Well, we're gonna play a special showing of Team America." <laughs> well, f yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So for those that don't know, Team America is kind of would be close to twenty years old. Yeah, and it is an anime. I don't know if I'd say twenty, but ten. Okay, it's an animated movie uh, with sort of puppets, maybe, and it's just sort of about how the uh, the the how super patriotic the United States tends to be on uh, right. uh, people in the United States tend to be on issues. Yeah. So, and then it, but then it also has you know uh, Kim Jong Il singing his Ronri song. <laughs> about, how, about how Ronry is over in North Korea. I don't really remember it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been a long time. Well, nonetheless, if you think that it's inappropriate, 855-450-3733. If you think it's completely appropriate, I'm, I'm interested in your opinion. I'm not entirely sure here, but I think if I made a movie, I'd probably release it, especially with all this publicity. From especially the, with the budgets of, I'm sure, whatever a Sony film is. What uh, from WashingtonPost.com here, teen marijuana use falls as more states legalize teen alcohol and drug use. Including- That's impossible. <laughs> well, it's what we've been saying for well more than a decade here on Free Talk Live. So, uh, oh, we told you so. Come on, if you make it legal, everyone's going to use it. It's, uh, it's amazing if uh, teens in uh, Amsterdam... Sp- or in you know surrounding areas, uh, Holland, choose not to smoke marijuana at a larger percentage than um, when it has been made uh, legal, and teens in Portugal, where it has been decriminalized, s- start using it less and less. Then maybe here in the United States, if you legalize it, teens will use it less. Now, I, I mean, this seems to be the biggest concern as to whether or not teens are going to use marijuana and other drugs. Right. But as the uh, penalties get decreased for them. Apparently, it's the forbidden fruit situation. Right. And what's happening now is essentially what you got is a like, marijuana. That's a 
drugged. It's a hippie drug, Grandpa. Give me that Xanax you got in your cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what's really happening. Is now. it? I don't know. I mean, because the kids are going after the, you know, the the pills, the stealing stuff from their uh, parents' medicine cabinet. Is essentially, what you know, how a lot of kids are getting high now. Teen alcohol and drug use, including marijuana use, was down across the board. It says drug use, including marijuana use here. So apparently they're not getting as many Xanax as they were getting joints in the past. It's down across the board in 2014. That's the big take home from the 2014 Monitoring the Future study by the University of Michigan and National Institutes of Drug Abuse, which was released Tuesday morning. The MTF is an annual survey of 40,000 eighth graders. 10th graders, and 12th graders. Those are pretty good grades to start asking questions about drugs, it seems to me. I, what a weird job. I'm just sorry. This is like, what's your job? I monitor the future. <laughs> oh, yeah? How do you do that? I watch little kids all day long. <laughs> it's just creepy. I mean, it's like the Monitoring the Future Foundation is just, okay, I guess. if that you know. I mean, I understand you know that they want to... Uh, study trends and do that but it's just weird that it's like that's all apparently that's all this foundation does it's knowing just, the future is extraordinarily valuable i agree if you can figure out what the future is it's for instance in the, the new captain america movie a uh, winter soldier where mm -hmm. armin zola turns over to uh hydra the 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 formula the anal uh the the formula for figuring out people through social media and you know, their their medical records and what they're going to do, whether they're going to be a terrorist or not, and they just shoot them in the head before, <laughs> right. they, uh, yeah. before they get to be a problem. Right. Well, you know, knowing what the future is is really valuable. I just don't think that you're necessarily going to get that by like, oh, we're going to watch all the high schoolers out there, and that's going to tell us the future. It's like, no. You're not going to get it no. by not watching the high schoolers. No, I, I agree. I can tell you that. Yeah. Um, so if you're going to find out the future... You probably should look at the high schoolers. I think it should be part of the mission. I don't think it should be a hundred percent of the mission. If that's you know, and that just you never know odd. whether they're going to give a fair answer. But if you right. can look at what they say at, over over a period of time, that might give you some information. So in this case, apparently, alcohol, marijuana, drugs generally, uh, the usage is down. It's notable. Uh, this the study is notable for its size and for the fact that it's uh, conducted this past spring in the midst of nationwide a nationwide conversation about drug reform in the run up to the midterm elections. I'll tell you what the survey found here in a moment. Eight five five four five zero three seven three three. Free Talk Live. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a free, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are 
having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas. Of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. It's Mark with you. And Johnson. You can give us a call, share what's on your mind, 855-450-FREE. We've talked about the the interview, which apparently is a, a movie that's not going to be in theaters come Christmas because the big, bad, scary North Koreans. Uh, I mean, talk about giving them too much credit, canceling your movie because of the North Koreans. Uh, anyway, it's been canceled, according to Sony. And apparently going to be released in other countries, if this makes any sense at all. So Sony's just giving up the opportunity to make money in the United States because I'm going to watch this movie now. They're going to attack us by whimpering and hunger. <laughs> well, I don't want to laugh at somebody else's misfortune. <laughs> but you know whose misfortune I will be laughing at uh, shortly? People who don't remember to get a Christmas gift. It is next week. And, you know, mom, girlfriends, spouses... Boyfriends, these folks need Christmas gifts. Fresh, How about freshly dipped strawberries from Sherry's Berries? Starting at $19.99, it's just over a 40% savings. Or you can get even more of a savings by doubling the berries for just $10 more. You just need uh, the Free Talk Live code to take advantage of this special deal. It's FTL. These are decadent, fresh, juicy, sweet, and irresistible berries dipped in uh, tempting White, milk, and dark chocolatey goodness. Chocolate chips, decorative swizzles, nuts. You've never had anything like them. For those that don't like berries, they do have other things, including uh, cake truff- uh, their cake truffles, Christmas cake pops, and dipped pretzels. But these berries are the best things I've ever tasted, and you're going to love them too. Just uh, go do it, do it before next week because you want to make sure you get it ordered. Do it right now. Um, it's the only way to get this amazing 1999 offer from Sherry's Berries. You can go to berries.com, clip, click on the microphone in the upper right hand corner, enter FTL, or you can give them a call at 866 Fruit 02. So it's berries.com, microphone in the left hand corner, enter coupon code FTL, or call them at 866 Fruit 02. Too. It's the perfect gift without all the hassle. Does that have to be a refrigerated shipment? It comes in, it, it, it sort of has its own cooler that's okay. built into the box. And they're, they've are they always come perfect for us. Right. <laughs> Never been well, it's mishap. also, I guess, the time of the year. Is, I'm not even really thinking straight. It's like, okay, if it comes to 
anywhere around here for sure it's going to be chilly. Yeah, I have no idea if people <laughs> Especially de- if it's got a built-in cooler. delivering to their uh, family down in uh, Colombia or Tierra, Tierra del Fuego have to deal with these things, <laughs> yeah. but uh, um, precisely what's going on there, but they've always come perfect to us. Right. Berries.com. So, we're reading this article from Washington Post on teen drug use, which appears and uh, alcohol use and marijuana use and all of it. And, and cigarettes by the way, way down. So teens apparently are much smarter than they were uh, when I was a kid. By the way, they don't have my teenage years on here, but by all indications, we were a bunch of dumb mamma jammas. Um, I mean, the, these, these lines just go up towards the sky uh, in my youth. Johnson, yeah, it doesn't look so good for your, your, your generation either. <laughs> so anyway, going on, marijuana use, down. Alcohol use, way down. Cigarettes, way down. Fewer than 15% of 12th graders reported using cigarettes any time in the last month. So 15%, pretty low compared to, it had to have been 30% when I was a kid. Um, That's down well over 35% from the late 90s. Monthly alcohol use dropped from nearly 55% of 12th graders in 1992 to less than 40%. That's a 15% drop. Even weed, which has been on a uh, flatter trajectory since the 90s than other substances, probably because it's less harmful than alcohol and tobacco, is down year over year. These numbers comport with uh, findings earlier this year from the National Survey on Drug Use and Health, the government's major substance abuse barometer. Even news, even better news is that frequent daily use, which experts agree is most harmful to developing young minds, is also down considerably. Cigarettes posted the sharpest drop in daily use, falling from nearly 25% of 12th graders in 1997 to about 7% in 2014. I'm going to repeat those numbers because sometimes percentages get lost on the radio. Mm -hmm. Cigarette use dropped from nearly 25% of, of 12th graders had used it in the last 30 days in 1997 to about 7% in 2014. Wow, those numbers are astounding. Can I smash them? (laughs) Is it it some kind of SWAT reference? No, no. I mean, I have a story here that just smashes those numbers. You don't believe it at all? Oh, no, I believe them. And I have a a very clear reason, which is going to disappoint you greatly. Okay, go. If you think that they're smart. Go! So, a U.S. health official resists calling the vapor devices a gateway as teen smoking continues to drop. Electronic cigarettes touted uh, as potentially game-changing harm reduction devices by long-time I did see this, yes. nicotine addicts and sometime health experts are surprisingly popular among American teenagers, according to a new survey. They've blown past smoking. In fact, more students reported using an e-cigarette in the past month than admitted to past month-to-month use of traditional cigarettes in the 2014 Monitoring and Futures Monitoring the Future survey. Hey, these same guys. So it's in um, the same survey. Survey. Okay. Yeah, it's the same survey, which gathers information on 8th, 10th, and 12th graders. Survey results released Tuesday show more than 17.1% of high school seniors said that they used an e-cigarette in the past month, while just 13.6% said that they used a traditional cigarette in the past, in the previous 30 days. Now, I've got to say that I'm really sort of surprised that teens go for the e-cig thing. Yep. I really expected, honestly, because this was this is a big deal. We don't want, uh, we're not going to allow you to smoke in here because it looks too much like smoking, and smoking could make teenagers want to smoke. Like that's literally some of the reasoning behind not allowing people to use e-cigs inside well, buildings. Here's the thing about the e-cigarette: you can put an e-cigarette up. Well, I probably shouldn't be saying this on the radio, giving people ideas, but you can put an e-cigarette up your sleeve and blow the sm- the steam into your sleeve. Uh-huh. There's no evidence. I see. Um, and so we, you're just, you know, leaning like the thinker. Yes. You know, and you can basically smoke in class and no one knows. I'm trying to think of how to slip in a pun like Rodan would do that. <laughs> but uh, I really can't. So, um, yeah, the I, I just I'm surprised the teens would want anything to do with an e-cigarette. But. Uh, okay. <laughs> I guess. Nicotine is nicotine, man. But Nick, have you used an e-cigarette? Yeah, I have. Okay. I, yeah. You smoke too, right? Uh, yeah, occasionally so I have. So there's a big difference between smoking a cigarette and using an e-cigarette. A smoking a cigarette will give you this sort of head buzz thing that goes on, especially if you're not smoking all the time. It feels different against your throat. An e-cigarette yeah, is the essentially- different against your throat thing is the biggest thing. I I still think you can get a head buzz from a 
an e-cigarette. You can if it, it, it's it's not pleasant at all. Um, I, I think that the the effects of them are too, entirely different. The e-cigarette's much more like a nicotine patch, um, mm-hmm. and then uh, a cigarette, which is like a nic- nicotine bl- boost. Right. And uh, I mean, so I'm just surprised kids want anything to do with it at all. But if kids are going to use e-cigarettes. Now, first off, they do make e-cigarette liquid without uh, nicotine, any nicotine right. at all, and so you're just I don't puffing on polypropylene glycol, which is basically like inhaling a smoke, a fog machine at a party. Yeah, it's not particularly. So far, we don't uh, know of any particular damages that right. come from it. Um, it should be interesting to to find out over time. We'll find out what it is. It seems to me that sucking on a, an e-cig it has to be significantly better for you than sucking on a cigarette. I would what think. do you what do you think? 855-450-3733 Free Talk Live 855-450 free. The knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. That's ancientdefense.com. Could dropping bombs on Afghans without warning from terrifying robot airplanes that fly themselves actually hurt America's efforts to stabilize Afghanistan? It's complicated. No, 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 not at all. Actually, I think we need to stay the course. You don't change horses midstream, and you don't stop uh, firing well, missiles from unseen death droids <laughs> uh, soaring high above the clouds just because a couple of schools get blown well, up. I, mm-hmm. We have got to find another way to obliterate this population. What about <laughs> flaming bulldozers or 50-foot tall tanks? Let's yeah. do what we can for these civilians. I mean, why not name the drones Billy or Steve to make them seem less dispassionate. Oh, that is a terrible idea. Billy is a horrible name for a drone. They're now developing a 40-foot robot that actually looks more like an American soldier and also uh, sprays lasers out of his eyes. Well, at least that's Smart. a step forward. Hey, look, as long as it fires missiles and bombs with very low accuracy and zero Americans are at threat, I'm all for it. Good point. They Duncan. should give it funny floppy arms. Yes. Oh, it should spray uh, candy out of its chest a few minutes before yeah, it yeah. starts shooting yeah. everything. This is the Onion News Network. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from shinybadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at shinybadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. 
While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever you want. It's been teen drug use going down and the Sony movie, The Interview, getting canceled uh, this evening here on Free Talk Live. It's Mark with you. And Johnson. And we were talking about in the last segment, Sherry's Berries and uh, you know Christmas being next week. If you celebrate the holiday or if somebody in your family celebrates the holiday, more likely it's this is what's important. <laughs> somebody that's important to you celebrates the holiday. Yeah, you, know, you got to think about Christmas gifts. Um, and one thing that I think is a great Christmas gift is the two CD set in Freedom's Cause. Because likely you have some young people in your life, and likely you want to spread some of your values of the ideas of liberty to them. In Freedom's Cause is a great way to do it. It is a top-of-the-line um, audio production. It's got big-name actors, including James Cosmo of Braveheart, Skandar Keens of Chronicles of Narnia, Billy Boyd of Lord of the Rings, and Joanne Froggett of Downton Abbey. It's got its own score. It is the story of William Wallace and Robert the Bruce, uh, one of the greatest stories of the struggle for freedom in human history, the independence of Scotland. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of parallels between Scottish history and U.S. history. The Declaration of Arbroath, uh, you know, there's been parallels drawn between that and the Declaration of Independence. And not to mention Thomas Jefferson, red hair. <laughs> so anyway, in freedomscause.com, if you go there, and by the way, go and listen to the audio that they have there. You'll get some idea of what uh, this is like. It is really awesome. But we have a special code for you to get a big discount, 50% off. If you use coupon code FTL and you purchase the family four pack, that's four gifts, comes to a total of 50 bucks. That's twelve fifty a gift. And that's pretty good. This is great for kids. It's great for adults. I listened to it with my family. Jack loved it. My wife loved it. Infreedomscause.com. Coupon code FTL to save 50% on the family four-pack. Infreedomscause.com. Coupon code FTL. Let's go to John calling in from Idaho. John, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey, guys. Dig your show, man. I uh, found you guys via the Scott Horton show on ah. LRN FM. Well, I love Scott but anyway, Horton's um, show. Do you? Cool. No, I do. Yeah, He's a great show. I've been, I've been listening to him for years, man. I dig him. Uh, he's so much more qualified to talk about uh, foreign policy issues that I feel dumb when uh, people ask us things here on the show. It'd be like, you should just be talking to Scott Horton. Yeah, totally. He's good on everything. Yep. Yeah. You know, you guys were talking about, and I only caught the last part of it, but you guys were talking about the e-cig thing. Yes. Yeah. And I didn't get what the start was about what was the, what was, was there a problem with them? What was the, you know, what was the subject? Sure. Basically? Let me recap. Um, so from Washington, the Washington Post, there's a, uh, a poll that came out uh, from some organization that claims to know the future or something uh, that of eighth grade, 10th grade and 12th graders. And what they have found is that teen drug use generally marijuana use specifically by the way why they can't talk about ninth graders i just don't understand it's eighth tenth and twelfth <laughs> yeah <laughs> they can't just poll everybody they um, weren't there they were cutting that day <laughs> <laughs> um let's see it's alcohol use the most down is cigarette use uh second most down is alcohol use uh marijuana use is down even though we're in a national conversation about the legalization and decriminalization of of marijuana and the, the one thing that's sort of uh, up is e-cigarette use among teens. And I was surprised that teens would bother with e-cigarettes uh, generally. I mean, you know, why would you do it if there's no, if you've never been smoked cigarettes, but, um, or, or really you're trying to quit? You can't just give it, you've been smoking for six months, you can't just give it up? So I'm surprised. Okay, well, I'll, I'll interject because I think it's a, there's, a, there's a big difference now, I think, between e-cigs and vaping. You know, and uh, do you know anything about vaping and how the e-cig has evolved into, you know, rebuildable drip atomizers and you build your own coils and you put your own cotton in there and then you drip your 
your e-cig juice on there, and it's this huge industry, man. It's huge now, especially out here. I mean, I know it's huge everywhere now. It's just a whole new thing. It's not I see people walking around little. with things that look like, for all the world, like steampunk uh, yeah. You know, yeah, that's devices. What it is. Yeah. Um, I certainly so that's see that. that's what everybody's doing now. Ironically, that's I saw right. somebody the other day with one that looked like a lightsaber. <laughs> and it's, it's interesting. You know, I really love it because... I mean, I have two things I'll tell you. You know, I've been involved. I have a friend who's actually a juice maker, and he came from messing around. I mean, it's a beautiful example of a free market right now. It's going to get – I mean, they've, they've been trying to regulate it, and it, it's really cool how people are – you know, they're, they're kind of – the industry, the, the whole vaping industry is, is coming together, you know, to keep it – the FDA off their back, and they're – you know they're they're actually taking calm and they're going to try to regulate it and everything. But the industry's huge, and I love just watching all these. I mean, there's shops everywhere and people building stuff and selling stuff. And my friend that's, makes juice. That's my question: is you what know, is it about inhaling and exhaling example. clouds? What is it about inhaling and exhaling clouds that turns people into engineers? I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's like a yeah, desire to build really things cool, suddenly yeah, comes out really in cool, everyone. And, and as far as the health aspect, man, I mean. I'm, I've turned many people on to it, and I was a former cigarette smoker a pack a day. And when I switched, to, wow. I had COPD. I was kicking it, man. I was, like, really in bad shape, you know. And I switched on July 3rd of a year and a half ago, I guess you'd say. And I went and bought a little kit, a little cheap little starter kit, you know, at a vape shop. And I kind of evolved from there, but I didn't smoke ever since then. I've, I've puffed a couple cigarettes when I was camping and stuff. But I quit, and my lungs, I totally changed, man. It changed my life. I I've mean, heard I a lot of people say that over and over again. Obviously, incredible. it's anecdotal. We don't yeah. know what the long-term effects of these cigarettes are, but it that. looks for all the world like these are a world better than uh, smoking cigarettes, combusted mm -hmm. plant material. And, yeah, and it tastes it, good and everything. Yeah, yeah I mean— I, I, I don't know. I mean, I always thought that uh, smoking, maybe it was just because I was getting the nicotine I wanted, uh, tasted pl fine by me. It, the taste wasn't the issue for me. But it's just, I mean, when you're talking about you can get the nicotine that you are you know, that you need and you can have a significantly better health, live a much longer life, those things are pretty good. Yeah. So yeah, and I, Like I said, the cool thing I like real quick is, is the industry. You know, it's coming down. It's like... I see all this stuff happening from ground level, you know, watching all these juice makers and people making products and tanks and battery holders and, you know, just all the jobs involved. And, and it's, uh, it's not being totally taxed real hard in, in a lot of places yet. So it's creating – it's really cool little – a little market, you know, a little, and not so much free market, but it's, it's neat to watch it all evolve. You know, I've been, I've been doing It's pretty close a to a free market. Yeah, and it's cool, man, and they're not taxing the hell out of I mean, just think if they're really, I mean, if they were over there, oh, they'll get there it. is no taxes, you know? <laughs> I, I yeah. can't imagine that somehow they're going to escape the iron claw of the tax man. Yeah. Um, it's, no. you know, today they're that's true, but, you know, I, I, I smoked yeah. cigars anyway. for a long time because they didn't have any taxes on them, and then, you know, then 2009 or whatever, they did that too. John, thanks for the call. Yeah, thank you guys. Thanks, man. Yep. Bye. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. What, what bothers you the most about e-cigarettes? Because I know a lot of people are bothered about them. I don't. Are you asking me if I'm bothered by? I don't, I'm not really bothered by them. Uh, no, I'm. I'm maintaining. Just asking the audience. I'm maintaining okay. eye contact with you while speaking yes. to hundreds of thousands <laughs> of people. Uh, no, but I mean, you know as well as I do. I just went to the courthouse here in right. uh, Keene, New Hampshire, and it's got a specific sign right. that says "No e-cigarette use." Well, I don't on the know door. that our audience in specific would necessarily. I mean, maybe a portion of them. You are can't bothered, talk but, about our audience. We've yeah. got dozens of radio stations that anybody sure. in America could tune into. But I'm sure a large portion of freedom love people are not going to be bothered by uh e-cigarettes they're you know live and let live if you want to breathe vapor go ahead it's not you know no uh sweat off my back well no steam out of my nose free uh <laughs> freedom loving people may be the core of free talk live's audience but free talk live does something entirely different sure, than most sure. shows yes, do exactly we actually reach people who have never heard these things before right and i want to know from those people what is it about e-cigarettes that bother you right. because here we have this thing significantly healthier the best thing i can come up with is it it looks too much like smoke it's secondhand nicotine i'm going to die <laughs> 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. I want to know. 855-450-FREE.
For all of you who are inspired to create your own unique holiday cards and gifts. For all of you, there's Vistaprint.com. At Vistaprint.com, creating personalized holiday cards is simple. Choose from hundreds of designs and add your own photos and special messages. And there's 60% off. Plus, personalized one-of-a-kind gifts are also to 60% off. It's our best deal of the season. But hurry, offer ends December 7th. The only way to get this incredible deal is to go to Vistaprint.com, click the microphone in the upper right corner, and enter code RADIO60. Vistaprint.com, code RADIO, the word 60. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust, who will never betray you, or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. The experts at Web.com want to build your business a successful website for free, just like we did for these current Web.com customers. We've used and and looked at other website designers, but there's nobody better than Web.com. Web.com can build your website in as little as seven days free. Plus, we'll promote it on all the major search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing. If after 30 days you're happy, we'll continue to provide promotion, hosting, support, and maintenance, all for one low monthly fee. If not, cancel and pay nothing. If you're in business today and you don't have a web presence, you won't be taken seriously. Call right now and you'll also get a free .com or .net domain name for your new website powered by VeriSign, the world's leading domain name provider. Call 800-297-0154. That's 800-297-0154. No upfront charge for site build, after which ongoing fees apply. Rights to site are relinquished when canceled. Domain included during active service, after which fees apply. That's 800-297-0154. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! On your knees! Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at gunsandweed.com or on Amazon. That's gunsandweed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's gunsandweed.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. It's Mark with you. And Johnson. Talking about e-cigs here, um, and apparently there's a study out that says teen drug use down, teen alcohol use down, teen uh, marijuana use down, teen cigarette use down, teen e-cig use up. and <laughs> Way up. 
I scoffed at the idea that teenagers are going to want anything to do with e-cigs. I mean, this for all the world sounds like the purview of 40-year-old white guys that, uh, you know, are trying to give up their cigarette habit and don't have what it takes to do it. And I'm speaking as one of those people. Right. <laughs> so I guess I'm just like, what, what in the world would a teenager want to be like me? Now, I, when I quit... It was just in the very beginning of e- the e-cigarette thing. It was 2009, and uh, you know, I what I did was I bought some of those herbal cigarettes that you right. could smoke, but they didn't have anything in them. Was, but um, I was quitting c- smoking cigars, and I got one pack of them, and I never finished them. So I just quit with the Chantex. And but if it had been a year later. I'm pretty sure I'd be still vaping <laughs> with the e-cigarette. Chantex cigarette. is the gum, right? Nicotine gum. Chantex is a pill plant. that uh, has gotten all kinds of bad press for giving people very vivid dreams. Some people call them nightmares. Huh. Um, I didn't have... I have nightmares anyway, so um, it doesn't really matter whether there's a pill involved or not. Um, regardless. Just anyway. imagining you d- dreaming of drinking caffeine. No! <laughs> <laughs> Nonetheless, so um, teen e-cigarette use is up, and this can't be particularly good for the nascent and burgeoning e-cig market because we want our teens, you know, these, <laughs> these rotten people who are <laughs> screwing and they won't, <laughs> won't even get a job. And, you know, I remember being a teen. I was a mess. Um, these people, we want them pure as the driven snow. Let's go to Corey calling in from Fort Myers. Corey, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, how's it going, guys? All's well. Nice, nice. Yeah, I've, I've been a I've been a vapor for the past uh, three and a half years, and I came in right around you know the time when it really started to uh, really kick in. And uh, I can honestly say, I, you know, obviously, I, I very, very seldom ever touch a cigarette. Um, only, of course, when if, I, if I'm out with friends and the battery runs out and I don't have access to hook up my charger, then I might bum one. But, um, I mean, the plus side, obviously, you know, there's no carcinogens in it, but I can honestly say after doing it for three, three and a half years, it significantly increases your dependence on nicotine. There's no doubt about it. Uh, given, you know, how much, how much uh, fluid, uh, nicotine fluid that I go through within a week, um, this is just my own personal. You know, yeah, I, I would say that this varies because I think right. that there are people that uh, that that you know they go one way or the other with it, uh, and some people say, "Yeah, I used it for two months, and then I just decided I didn't need it anymore and let go." Which is awesome. Which is awesome. But I think just based on my personal experience, I, I definitely recommend what you were saying, like the, the Chantax or maybe cold turkey or whatever. I, I personally, I can honestly say, like, I don't recommend uh, turning to vape to try to quit. Though, although, given it will, obviously, there's no carcinogens, so that erases cancer from the equation. But, however, nicotine still can cause heart disease, obviously. Um, but, again, nicotine is a poison. For that, right, exactly, exactly. So, for that reason, I don't recommend, you know, turning to vape or cigarettes. And especially if you're a teenager, too, obviously, for the same reasons you shouldn't turn to cigarettes. You shouldn't turn to vaping as well. That's just my own personal, you know, thing about that. So uh, I, I just thought I'd call it and give my two cents. You know, yeah, my I, I appreciate that. Do you feel healthier? Uh, well, yes and no. I mean, I, I think I definitely feel healthier than if I was using regular cigarettes because there's a lot more junk in regular cigarettes. But again, though, I mean, heart disease is definitely in my future, I honestly think, if I don't obviously, so, you know, quit this. You feel healthier but less empowered. Um, right. So yeah. I, I think, I think that's correct. As far as like, uh, when it comes to addiction goes, yeah, you're absolutely correct. Gotcha. Um, on that. Well, I, you know, I want to hear the goods and the bads of this. I, I do tend to think that it's it beats cigarette smoking, but um, you know, I mean, obviously, if somebody's asked me, well, do you think I should just quit using uh, tobacco or tobacco products entirely, or uh, nicotine products entirely, or do you think I should uh, start vaping? Well, <laughs> I can't say I, I, for you. I, yeah, no, I, I, I definitely recommend I definitely recommend like Chantex or, or or the patch or whatever or whatever it is. So um, let me ask I you this, main reason- Corey. So let, let's say tomorrow, uh, let's say uh, cigarettes, you know, regular tobacco, and also let's say uh, e-cigarettes were outlawed. What would you do? Let's say it was illegal tomorrow. What would you do? Would oh you- hell yeah! So, would no, you- of course, because I'm addicted. Of course, I'd still do it. So you you'd turn to the black market immediately. Absolutely. Are you kidding? Okay. Okay. Absolutely. And I, I think the main reason why, though, I, I should also add, too, the main reason why, too, I think, uh, for me, 
uh, uh, it is maybe more dependent on nicotine. It's just the fact, you know, there's no odors. You could pretty much do it almost anywhere for that matter. And so it gives you more anywhere opportunity they'll let you. to actually. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, right, right. And, um, you know, I've been in bars before, too, where, you know, a bar owner or a worker will come up to me and say, no, you can't do that. And I'm thinking, well, no, I mean, you, you can't smoke cigarettes. But obviously with respect to private property, the reason why they're telling you you can't do it is because they're worried. You know, God forbid, if some drunk sees vapor, they think it's smoke. I'm like, oh, you can smoke it here, and then they get shut down. So for that, I respect it. Got it. But no, but that that's but that's the main reason why, though, people be I, at least for me, I think people will become more dependent on nicotine by vaping is because you can pretty much do it almost anywhere for the most part. Thanks for so. the call, Corey. Appreciate it. Eight fifty five four. 50 free. What's the percentage of people that would turn to the black market, Johnson? 79% according to a USA Today study. That's a lot of people. I'm That's a surprised. Lot of people. I just quit rather than pay taxes to the government. Whoops. Oh, I shoot. I just hung up on somebody rather than answering their call. Oh, call back if I hung up on you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, just click the wrong button. What can I tell you? Amateur hour. Yeah, well, you know. All the best. So this uh, this poll on these youngsters, any other statistics from yours? Sure. Well, this this poll is uh, one uh, done by U.S. Uh, News, um, and apparently what they did is they pulled so – it was a 75-question online poll uh, they uh, put out to 10,000 members, and – 79% said that they would look to the black market if uh, products were uh, products they used were banned tomorrow, while 14% said that they were returned to smoking analog cigarettes. So that's interesting. Only 14% said that they would return to smoking regular cigarettes. This was just if e-cigarettes were banned, would they go to the black market? And they 79% said yes, when returning to regular cigarettes was an option. Wow. That is impressive. Now, it makes you wonder if, uh, you know, nicotine has such a hold over people and their 79% are willing, uh, e-cigarette users are willing to turn to the black market to get their stuff. Why is it that legalizing marijuana seems to drive down the usage? Right. Is it just because it's a recreational drug as opposed to a, uh, you know, addictive one? Because people, sometimes they'll tell you marijuana is addictive. But I tend to think marijuana is addictive like that bowl of ice cream you eat every night. Right. <laughs> you know, it's a habit as opposed that cup to of coffee. Yeah, a, an addiction. Well, coffee's addictive. Yeah. Uh, caffeine can be shown to be uh, physically addictive. People will have withdrawal Anything symptoms. Anything can be physically addictive if you're having it on a daily basis. Uh, uh, you will have withdrawal symptoms from sugar. You can have. You will have withdrawal symptoms from anything for the most part. If you're having it on a daily basis, you will probably have withdrawal from it. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's. I, I would I hesitate to use the term physically addictive when it's not, you know, sort of like scientifically what we would call physically addictive. I don't know. Um, anyway, I, I, well, I think coffee a- doesn't fall under that. That I believe that scientifically addictive um, category, like okay. nicotine does. Uh, the The scientific term for addiction is when you do something when it's clearly uh, when there are clear. Uh, disadvantages to your person. In other words, when it's it's very clear that there are negative outcomes that are happening all around you, and you continue to do it anyway, it's chronic that's addictive pro- behavior, and that's chronic a, and progressive also. Right. Yeah. And that's true of like gambling. It's true of you know other things that are not necessarily substances um, can be physically addicting and that, and have that addiction where you're in that negative. Uh, you're having these negative results and continuing to do something anyway. I think that there's just some personality types in this world that just don't have much power around making decisions. Sure. You know, they find something that's good for them, uh, you know, that makes them feel good or whatever, and mm-hmm. they, they have no power. I think gambling's a perfect example because you... This is not addictive. This is just something you like to do. Right. And... If you don't have any power over it, then that's because you don't have any power to make uh, decisions. You or things like discretion. the internet, Facebook, pornography, video games. All those things. You know? <laughs> All those things that people find. They make me feel good. Anything that makes you feel good. Yep. You're you not need, allowed to feel good. You need coping mechanisms right. for dealing with it. So, anyhow. Everything what, in moderation. What are your thoughts uh, on addiction? 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. 8 8- 55 450 free. Those uh, last letters are 3733. So that's 855 450 free. Free Talk Live. Free Talk Live. 
You've heard of Black Friday doorbuster deals. Well, don't miss Lumber Liquidator's Floor Buster deals. Get incredible discounts on your favorite floors at one-time only prices. There's never been a better time to get a great deal on pre-finished hardwoods, hand-scraped hardwoods, gorgeous bamboo, top quality laminates, and get 26 months special financing. Plus, get even more Floor Buster discounts in our stores. The sale ends Tuesday. These deals will not wait until after the holidays. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, December 18th, 2014. Silver is trading at $16.12 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,206 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $310. Antiwar.com reports Palestinian officials announced yesterday that they have submitted a resolution to the UN Security Council by way of Jordan seeking to end the Israeli occupation of the West Bank. The resolution has been talked about for weeks, with Israel heavily lobbying for a U.S. veto and reports that Secretary of State John Kerry has already told the Palestinians that such a veto is coming. That isn't the end of it, however, as Palestine has the backing of the European Union on the matter and France is leading a diplomatic effort to forward an alternative, watered-down version that will be more difficult for the U.S. to veto outright. The Palestinian version seeks an Israeli withdrawal within two years, while the French version only pushes for a resumption of peace talks within that time. The Israeli government has expressed equal measure of outrage at both versions. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. UPI reports George Stinney Jr., who was 14 when he died in South Carolina's electric chair 70 years ago, was cleared Wednesday of killing two young girls. Circuit Judge Carmen Mullen found fundamental constitutional violations of due process in Stinney's one-day trial before an all-white jury. During a two-day hearing in January, Mullen said she could not determine if the boy was guilty or innocent, only if the proceedings were fair. Mullen said, given the particularized circumstances of Stinney, in his case, I find by a preponderance of the evidence standard that a violation of the defendant's procedural due process rights tainted his prosecution. Stenny was the youngest person to be executed in the United States, at least in the 20th century, was so small he had to sit on a book when he was strapped into the electric chair. He was put to death 81 days after Betty June Vinegar and Mary Emma Thames were killed in the small town of Alcolu, South Carolina. The only real evidence against the boy was a confession he allegedly gave police 
police officers after hours of questioning without his parents or a lawyer present. He was alone during the trial because his family had been warned that they would be lynched if they remained in the town. No written record of the confession was presented during the trial, and a historian named George Frierson, who has been fighting to clear Stinney, said he has been unable to find a written copy of the confession. Stinney later denied confessing. Bitcoin Not Bombs is a launching pad for nonprofits and social entrepreneurs into the financial freedom of the Bitcoin economy. Bitcoin Not Bombs offers premium publicity campaigns designed to facilitate an organization's adoption of Bitcoin as a payment system. Bitcoin Not Bombs is fully committed to being the hub of the nonprofit sector of the Bitcoin economy, maximizing the potential cross promotion of all our clients and commercial partners. To learn more, visit bitcoinnotbombs.com. Reuters reports, the United States and Cuba agreed on Wednesday to restore diplomatic ties that Washington severed more than 50 years ago, and President Barack Obama called for an end to the long economic embargo against its old Cold War enemy. After 18 months of secret talks, Obama and Cuban President Raul Castro agreed in a phone call on Tuesday on a breakthrough prisoner exchange, the opening of embassies in each other's countries, and an easing of some restrictions on commerce. The two leaders made the announcement in simultaneous televised speeches. The Vatican and Canada facilitated the deal. Obama's call for an end to the economic embargo drew resistance from Republicans who will control both houses of Congress from January and who oppose normal relations with the communist-run island. Obama says he was ending what he called a rigid and outdated policy of isolating Cuba that had failed to achieve change on the island. His administration's policy shift includes an opening to more commerce in some areas, allowing use of U.S. credit and debit cards, increasing the amount of money that can be sent to Cubans, and allowing export of telecommunication devices and services. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. We turn to Washington, D.C., where America's roommates are holding a rally as part of their new One Vote Doesn't Matter political action campaign. The rally, which drew thousands of roommates, ranging from the guy who keeps all of his groceries in his room to the guy whose name the lease is under, is just a part of a surging grassroots movement to spread the message that one person's vote can't make a difference if you really, really think about it. You know, this is like the most important election of our lifetime. We just want to get the word out that it's already been f***ing decided in some smoke-filled boardroom. You know, I pretty much minored in poli-sci, so I think I get this stuff. Joining us now is Jason Copeland at a rally in the nation's capital. Jason, how would you describe the energy there? Yeah, hi, Andrea. I'd say it's a definite uh, chill vibe. Uh, I just saw the roommate whose only friend seems to be his younger brother and the guy who just has an air mattress in his room passing out flyers together. Now, the roommates do make some interesting points. The electoral colleges, it is weird. This is the Onion News Network. Talk Live, 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever you want to talk about. But this evening we've been, well, we've been on a couple of topics here, including the e-cigarette, uh, the rise in the use of e-cigarettes amongst teenagers. So cigarettes, regular cigarettes, tobacco use, um, alcohol use, marijuana use, all of these things have been diminishing, but... E-cigarette use has been increasing, and I think this is fascinating. Um, and we were actually talking. You had an, a USA Johnson. You had a USA Today poll that said that almost eighty percent of e-cigarette users, if e-cigarettes were made illegal, wouldn't go back to cigarettes, but instead they would go to the black market to get their e-cigarette needs filled. Right, and that's with the option of going back to regular cigarettes. Only 14% of people who, out of the 10,000 who answered this poll said that they would go back to regular cigarettes if black market was if the black market was an option. So they'd be willing to risk arrest, jail, fines, you know, those types of things, uh, getting bunk product, possibly dying. <laughs> Instead of going back to regular cigarettes, they'd rather they they like their e-cigarettes that much. The black market's an amazing thing, and here's a story from KFOR.com. That's uh, News Channel Four. Oklahoma and Nebraska are suing Colorado over 
the legalization of marijuana. How dare you? <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> How dare you Coloradans act like you can smoke combusted plant material if you want to. Right. Oklahoma City. Not looking so pretty here. After legalizing the recreational use of marijuana, this, by the way, has nothing to do with the location known as uh, Oklahoma City. This is just news coming out of the <laughs> geopolitical area known as Oklahoma. The, Oklahoma, where the, we won't allow any smoke on the plane. <laughs> the politicians <laughs> that claim to represent the fine folks of o Oklahoma. I don't believe they represent them at all. But nonetheless, it says after legaliz legalizing the recreational use of marijuana, Colorado is at the heart of a lawsuit. The Denver Post is reporting that Nebraska and Oklahoma have filed a lawsuit with the U.S. Supreme Court asking the justices to strike down Colorado's legalization laws. I can laws. tell you, they wouldn't have been filing that lawsuit if people were smoking corn. <laughs> because it would be good for their economy? <laughs> That's right. The Colorado Attorney General's office says that the uh, lawsuit alleges that Colorado's Amendment 64 and its an implementation uh, of legislation regarding marijuana is unconstitutional under the supremacy clause of the U.S. Constitution. Now, I think this is interesting because if you think about alcohol prohibition, they had to make an amendment to the Constitution to make it illegal, or at least that's what they chose to do, and then they made an amendment to the Constitution to make it legal again. Well, didn't they, did they make another amendment, or did they just repeal that amendment? No, they made another one. And uh, appealing, repealing it. Yeah. So... Tell me exactly how they can, the federal government can just pass laws without amending the Constitution to make cannabis illegal. How can they do it? If you have to pass an amendment to make alcohol illegal, how can you just do it with cannabis? I don't know. Supremacy clause, question. my big toe. This has nothing to do with, except bad constitutional law and the progression of the growth of the state um, in Washington, D.C. Right. That's what it's about. So, because neighboring states have expressed concern about Colorado-grown marijuana coming into their states, we are not entirely surprised by this action, says Colorado Attorney General John Southers. That's just how he sounds, too, by the way. <laughs> I'm just trying to make voices so it sounds like I'm talking about different things. <laughs> however... However, it appears the plaintiff's primary grievance stems from the non-enforcement of federal laws regarding marijuana as opposed to choices made by the voters of Colorado. We believe this suit is without merit, and we will vigorously defend it against against it in the U.S. Supreme Court. Well, I, I say bully on John here for saying that he's going to you know uphold the law because too many people who are uh, you know in the bureaucracy they're not willing to do that. Right. So at the very least, he's standing up for law as opposed to standing up for what benefits the uh, you know the, the people in the criminal justice system because. Cops, prosecutors, these folks benefit um, a, a great deal. Prison guards, these are many of the lobbies that try to keep marijuana illegal. Right, because that's their jobs. All right, I've got to come up. Their, their livelihoods are on the line. I've got to come up with an even worse accent for Attorney General Scott Pruitt issued uh, from the Oklahoma, um, the, the, their statement. Fundamentally, Oklahoma states... <laughs> surrounding uh, the Oklahoma and states surrounding Colorado are being impacted by Colorado's decision to legalize and promote the commercialization of marijuana, which has injured Oklahoma's ability to enforce our state's policies against marijuana. They're, you know, apparently they're not busy enough uh, killing more inmates than any other state around. If Federal it's... law classifies <laughs> marijuana as an illegal drug. <laughs> The health and safety and risks posed by marijuana. What about the health and safety risks by the stinking incarceration? <laughs> We're playing the if, if politicians sounded like their whiny actual constitutions game. <laughs> Especially to children and teens. <laughs> Hold on. We just read an article, Scott, that says that if you legalize marijuana, teen drug use goes down. Will you not look at the facts, you stinking statist? <laughs> I will not look at the facts. We're talking about what Oklahomans want. Well, not all the Oklahomans, only the ones I choose to represent. I, 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 I mean, I know how the politicians would act. You know, it's like, you tell the facts to those parents whose children have started to pick up this nasty habit. You know, it's just like ridiculous. When you know? Jeb Bush's daughter got busted for smoking crack, oh. <laughs> they asked the news media to leave the family alone. Right. Of course they did. This, to deal with this family matter. Right. 
When your kid gets busted with crack, they go to jail. Your family matter is trying to get through their stinking prison guards to get into the to see your kid. Right. Their family matter. Yeah. Those that rule stink. They do not. There's no such thing as a rule of law in this country. Mm. Those people out there that. I used to be one of them. You talk about the rule of law and order and how this is necessary are deluded. Sadly, you've taken the blue pill. <laughs> and you need to spit that thing back up because the politicians, they don't follow the laws. Police officers, they can roll through stop signs. I think police officers get the law enforced on them more than politicians yeah. do. But uh, not, not much more. Not, but th- those that enforce the law and make the law, they don't have it enforced against them. So rule of law is just for us peasants. Let's go to Dave calling in from Poughkeepsie. Dave, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey there. How you guys doing tonight? Doing Absolutely right. capital, sir. <laughs> I am very, very angry, and I got some things I want to chat about no. tonight. You're what angry? are you angry about? Yeah. <laughs> All right. There are a lot of people on Craigslist calling me a whole bunch of names, saying that saying I, I, I'm a lead to which I am not, because I have worked very, very hard to get to where I am today, right now in life. I've had many, many jobs since, since the 1990s, and I worked very damn hard to get to where I am today. When I used to work back in the 90s, and I, and I was working, I was pissed off myself that other people weren't working, and they were like, you know... Uh, getting money from uh, all these other groups or, or whatever, and that when I was working, I was pretty pissed off myself that they weren't working. That that, that you know, I was like, oh, well, why should I work when when, when they aren't? But now it's kind of reversed or, or whatever because I worked very very hard in life to get to where I am well, today. Are you sure? I want to I want to make sure that I have something clear. So I think I've got the list down. The list, I believe, is that, you know, and I know these people on Craigslist are saying these things, but if I've got it correct, right, you are not a leech, you're not a pedophile, and you're not a bum. Is, is that, that right? Is that the whole correct. list? Okay. So correct. now why would they call you a leech, Dave? I don't know because they're morons. They're idiots, you know. I, well, I, they I just pull that out of the air. People don't, go, with, people don't call me a leech. I just don't know why they're calling you a leech. Because they think that I'm not working. They think that, you know, I get money off the system or whatever, blah, 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 whatever, you okay. know. When, when I used to work back in the 1990s. So you don't work now? I was now? working, and I, and I was, well, I, I do volunteer work right now. So um, where are you getting money but, from? You know, volunteer work is free. And where do you get money from? Where do you get your money from? That's what he asked. doesn't matter. But anyway, um, <laughs> when I was working back in the 1990s, you know, when I was like working and, and other people weren't working, I was I was like saying to myself, oh, why should I work when these people aren't? But now that I have, you know, put myself in this situation where I have worked many, many years. I'm glad I you're can... working very hard, Dave. I really do appreciate the call. 855-450-FREE. That's Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. Have you asked them to say it to your face? Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. Call the tax helpline that has been set up to help you. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. For free information and to see if you qualify, take down the number now for the Tax Representation Hotline. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. 800 691 6129. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a 
powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. Uh, excuse me, is this where I get a license to start a new business? I wouldn't be hasty. You have to get a license to go out of business, too, you know. Oh, well, look, I've invented this little anti-gravity machine, see? Oh, is that why you're walking two inches above the floor? <laughs> oh, yes, it's it's very comfortable. It saves on shoe leather. Yeah, well, you have to fill out these forms and report to the Human Services Department of Manpower Orientation and register with the Fair Employment Practice Commission, just the Wage wanna... and Hour Division of the Employment Standards Administration, the State Sales and Income Tax Division, the Internal Revenue Service, look, and the I Social Security Administration li- of the Department of Health, Education, and Welfare. Fair, and of course, OSHA. OSHA? I thought that was a little town in Wisconsin. You'll find out. Say, floating around like that could be dangerous. Have you checked with the Consumer Product Safety Commission? Well, not yet. Come to think of it, you actually are flying, aren't you? Look, you need to go over to the Federal Aviation Administration and the Transportation... It's very hard to get anything done these days if you're in business, but Free Enterprise built this country. Think what could happen if we don't keep it free. A public service of this station and the Center for the Defense of Free Enterprise, Bellevue, Washington. We just can't have people floating about unregulated, you know. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Do you drink coffee? Was the last cup of coffee you had really good? Free Talk Live has teamed up with BuzzBox to bring you the best of the best coffee. Shade grown, organic, top 1% grade Arabica. But what's different is for every 10 people that get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give another micro loan through Kiva. Get a free pound to try it out. A free pound of the best of the best coffee. Help others one cup at a time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. Are you interested in the future of Bitcoin and the peer-to-peer economy? You can head to the second annual Texas Bitcoin Conference at the Moody Theater in downtown Austin, March the 28th and 29th of 2015. We'll be there, including speakers and exhibitions and, and of course, a great opportunity to do some networking, as well as the fact that they're hosting the second million-dollar Bitcoin 2.0 hackathon. That last year, that was an amazing thing. I just like how the first time you said that, you said seconds. Seconds? <laughs> the seconds. seconds annual. <laughs> I've never heard that word before. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, that, that Bitcoin hackathon was an amazing thing. Uh, they gave away a million bucks to, I guess, I guess they split it between four projects and mm-hmm. gave, them, gave them each, each uh, 250000 And it really... But did some amazing work in the world. Okay, so here's my challenge: <laughs> make a bit. Well, I mean, make a, an inexpensive Bitcoin ATM that works. Because I've been working with a Bitcoin ATM recently that's just terrible, and I, we need more. We need easier things that work out there. Go get registered TexasBitcoinConference.com. You use coupon code FTL, you'll get a twenty-five dollar discount off the hundred and fifty dollar admission price. That's one twenty-five. Which of course is very affordable for these kind of conferences. You're not going to get a two-day event for 125 anywhere. But not only that, the Texas Bitcoin Conference also donates $25 to Sean's Outpost for every ticket that you purchase using our code. So you're getting an amazing price to a great event, a two-day event, and you're also helping Sean's Outpost with their outreach and assistance to the home homeless. Free Talk Live was there last year, and we had a great time, and we're excited to be part of it again 2015. Head on over to TexasBitcoinConference.com and get your tickets and be part of the future. Use coupon code FTL. Let's go to Valerie calling in from St. George. Valerie, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? 
You know, I listen to you guys a lot, and I have to say I really appreciate most of your opinions and, you know, about freedom and our the Constitution and about policemen, and, and, and I agree, but I just can't make that leap with you when it comes to, you know, marijuana or cocaine or any any other drug. And I, I'm not calling at all to be confrontational. Sure. I'm genuinely it's tough. interested, you now, know. Um, um, it's it's a tough issue, right? Like, uh, you know, now for most people will say, I can see marijuana, but cocaine and heroin, I can't see. But here's what I would um, say to you, Valerie, is, is that you know that alcohol is a pretty dangerous drug with lots of de- devastating effects on society, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Would you recommend it, making it illegal? I don't even know. That's where I, I don't even have... I, I I just grew up a certain way, and yep. you know, Mormon probably. And yes, I am. And, and, <laughs> you're in and Utah, and you're against see. drugs. Yes. Chances are good. <laughs> you um, probably have never well, even touched caffeine. Which God bless you. Oh, stop it! No, yes, you have. I have. And, oh heavens, yes, I drink Diet Pepsi every okay. day. Okay, so caffeine's a, a drug, caffeine. right? <laughs> yes, it is. You're probably dependent on it. Yes, I am. Life's okay drinking Diet Pepsi or Diet Coke. I can't remember which one you said it was. I I would feel better if I didn't. So, so you you have a certain amount of guilt surrounding your use of drugs. Probably having a lot. I don't have any guilt. No, No? I just I just don't feel. No. Okay, I'm listening. No, not no, not that. Okay, so I, I guess what I have to say is is that I understand that. Drugs. Well, wait, wait, wait. Because you you said you you would you would prefer that you didn't do it, and didn't you say that? So maybe guilt's not yes, the right, right word. I get a really but, bad headache if I don't. Right. Oh, you're but, full on dependent. You're dependent, but did you say you wished you yes, were not absolutely. dependent? You said you wished you were not dependent, yeah. correct? So maybe guilt's not the right word, but regret would be. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely regret. Okay. okay regret. Yeah. So um, you know. I get where you're coming from. You don't want people to make the mistakes that you've made. Uh, I have done far worse drugs than your little caffeine dependency. But, uh, you know, it's it's all drugs, and it's all uh, relevant to our lives. The thing is, is we can't stop humans from doing mind-altering substances, and that the war on these things is worse than, way worse. than the usage of them. So Okay, so that's your point. Is that – and, and- – I, I'm trying to get educated yes. right here. So that, yes, ma'am. is that your point? Then is the the war on it is actually worse than the the people using it? That's that how I feel about it, and I'm mostly a teetotaler. I don't even really drink, you know. So yeah, you, you know, smoke cigarettes the when you get a chance. Occasionally, though. I've go, I've been on and off over the years. I, you know, and I'm it's pretty infrequent. I'm, it's not like I'm a pack a day smoker. No, you're not. You know, I'm, I'm very infrequent. You know, occasionally I'll have a cigarette, and, but that's. You know, it's one of those things where I could quit, you know, like if I really didn't want to do it, I'd just not do it. It's just just like Diet Pepsi to me, you know, it's like, you know, I I think I'm I think, in fact, I'm more addicted to Dr. Pepper, (laughs) 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 like far more addicted to soda. I think it's brutal. Yeah. You know, so Valerie, but I. Go ahead. I'm sorry. That really is the point. Is is that the war on drugs and the consequences societally to prohibiting a particular substance is worse than the substances' effects uh, generally? Okay. Um, it, you know, we have we have marijuana legalization in Colorado, California, basically in California. Several states are coming on board. Washington, of course, already has it, and. You know, those places aren't crumbling down around, uh, you know, folks. Things are going on. Life's going on. I'm not saying it's good. I wish people didn't use these things. I wish I'd never had. Well, I'm glad to hear you. That helps me. Okay. Okay. That really, really helps me. So you're not an advocate for it since we have it. Okay. Now I see more where you're coming now, from. Now, Ian, if he, he was, was on the he show was, tonight, he, he advocates for this stuff. I don't. Um, I had a great deal of negative consequences in my life due to drugs, and I don't advocate for them. And it probably had a lot to do with the, the war on drugs, too, but I, I just can't. I can't let go and say, oh, yeah, I hope my six-year-old son really grows up to be a heroin addict. No, that's not going to happen for me. But, Valerie, I do thank yeah. you for the call so much. <laughs> I don't know if I, I'm certain Ian wouldn't say that either. But he <laughs> he likes his, uh, his, his trippy drugs out there. He thinks those sure. things somehow make his life better. He saw God one time so, or something. I don't know. You know, I can say that I've got kind of a unique perspective in this and that I've, you know, I've 
smoked. I got up to be a. Pa- I almost got up to be a pack a day smoker at one point, a long time ago in college. Then you're you ride the dragon, my friend. Yeah. Well, what happened is, is I quit. I actually quit smoking for several years. I want to say like six, seven years. I just completely quit smoking, and then I went back to very. It was very, just so good. Very, very <laughs> occasionally smoking. I, you know, I do. I, I enjoy it. But I will say also during that time, right around when I quit smoking, I quit soda. I quit actually the inf- entire flavor of sweet out of my diet for a particular period of time. Wow. I took the flavor of sweet out. And I got to say, much harder. Sugar, much, much harder to uh, to keep off of. Brian in Oklahoma. Whoops. Almost d- dropped, dropped him too. Brian, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Yeah, uh, I agree. Sugar is a powerful uh, you know, habit to break into that last sugar? Collar, you know. Is that what you said, sugar? Yeah, sugar. Yeah, it, it's a. There's a lot of sugar addicts around, you know. And uh, that last caller was talking about drugs, you know, like he's trying to get off caffeine and stuff. You know, there, there's drugs in the food, like MSG. It's, they call it a flavor enhancer. But what it does is it, it kind of mind, you know, screws your brain. Ian so, loves his MSJ. He keeps yeah. it as a seasoning in the cabinet. He's got some extra. <laughs> My wife will freak the F out over MSG. <laughs> I'm going to hold on to you and see if you have anything else on this one, Brian. 855 450 free. Free Talk Live. <laughs> Alex Jones here. For the last two years, I've been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to design a nutraceutical formulation that has truly life-changing health benefits. So many other formulations out there contain toxic ingredients, synthetic additives, and even GMOs. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Did you know that Free Aid is a mutual aid, educational, and networking organization? At Free Aid, we support volunteers who provide first aid. We do outreach to the public about health and safety, and we bring together medically skilled freedom lovers. Free Aid is made possible by your generous support. Donors can receive great gifts like first aid kits, t shirts, silver dime cards, and hoodies. The Free Aid Silver Dime Card Project is sponsored in part by Roberts and Roberts Burkridge, Freedoms Phoenix, and Don't Tread on Meme. Visit fr33aid.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's 
the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community and it's it's only getting bigger. That's amazing to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do though is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. Talk Live, 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. It's been a drug conversation tonight on Free Talk Live. <laughs> it all started... On Free Talk Live? <laughs> Never! <laughs> really? No. <laughs> uh, it all started with this, uh, this study that says that teen drug use, uh, specifically marijuana, but drug use generally is down. So in the, in the face of marijuana legalization, marijuana use is going down amongst teens. Mm -hmm. And I think that if we're going to pick a group, probably besides tweens and pre-tweens, uh, that we don't want using marijuana, teens are the ones, right? I don't know too many. Really, is there a problem with people under the age of uh, 13 using marijuana? Maybe there is. It certainly would be a problem if it was happening in my house. <laughs> Um, anyway, that, that study says that marijuana use down. That is about the right age, though. I mean, I think like right around that age is when I first tried it, like 14. 14? Yeah, it was 15 14, for me. 15, yeah, something. Yeah. So um, alcohol use, marijuana use, drug use, cigarette use, all down. E-cigarette use, up. It's very interesting. Let's go to, well, before we do that, I want to tell you about uh, an event I'm going to at the end of February. I had just told you I'm going to the Texas Bitcoin Conference in Austin at uh, on March the 28th and 29th, so the end of March. But the end of February, I am going to Acapulco. You know, it's really tough being here in the winter and then running off to Acapulco and warmer climbs. But uh, you can come with me. Jeff Berwick the, of the Do Dollar Vigilante is building billing, excuse me, billing Acapulco as the new Liberty destination, and I want to see for myself. I figure the Acapulco event is a perfect time to go take a look around. Speakers include, of course, Berwick and Angel Clark, who recently moved down there, but also Objectivist Girl, Roger Veer, known as Bitcoin Jesus, Cody Wilson, the creator of the uh, the Liberator on online printable gun, Nima V, who's a uh, Liberty rap artist, uh, Luke Rudkowski, he's a uh, journalist and gets a lot of really great stuff. Dana Martin, unschooling uh, expert. Ernie Hancock, the creator of Freedom's Phoenix, and many more. And what more reason do you need to go to Acapulco in February? Well, I'll give you a great reason. Because tickets are incredibly low. It's less than $100 if you register by Christmas. Hotels, great prices that time of year. Um, there are also workshops all week, but the action really heats up on the weekend. It's February the 27th through March the 1st. That's the real event, but there are workshops throughout the week. Um, and I'd love that they have an unschooling workshop there that I'm interested in going to, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it as far as the, uh, the, the ticketing and the airline ticketing and that sort of thing. But go take a look at the schedule and see what works for you. It's anarchopolco.com. It's the new Liberty destination. I'm going to say it real slow so you know how to type it in. And you can Google search it. Anarchapolco.com. Please okay, come, so out, come out and join me. They're going to get a slight amount of extra time because I have to ask, how are you going to this? Specifically you. How are you attending this event? Combustion engines attached to a airfoil. Right. And how are you managing that? Because doesn't this mean that you would have to leave the country? I can leave the country. Oh. I just can't go to Canada. 
Really? Canada, specifically Canada? Canada says I can't come because I'm a convicted felon, but I can pay lots of money to get some kind of uh, you know changeover. And I think Mexico is just like, hey, it's all right, man. <laughs> <laughs> they, what do they care? They, yeah, okay. they want me to come spend money. Why really? They? I had no idea. Oh, interesting. I think that after 10 years, Canada gives up on this. I'm not entirely sure I how it I thought it had works. to do with like just specifically like our rules or something. No, it's Canada's. <laughs> wow. Okay. Absolutely. Brian, we were talking at uh, Oklahoma City. Uh, Brian, you're back on Free Talk Live. Yeah, we were talking about uh, MSG and how it, it's a drug. And uh, it's, admitted it's chemical. That it has no, no nutritional value. There's there's no calories. There's no nutrition at all. Nope. Uh, basically what it does is it tricks your brain into thinking things that taste horrible taste good. That's why they and say you, can only, you can't eat just one, right? Because they got MSG sprinkled on it. Well, we have a, a feedback mechanism, you know, over evolution, you know, millions of years or whatever that, you know, helps us with something tastes good, that it's nutritional, you know, but th- this tricks your brain. As into, far as macronutrients uh, go, um, I would say that that's true, this evolutionary trick, because it was difficult to get things that were sweet and, you know, those sorts of things. But I, I, right now, our brains are terrible at figuring out what's nutritional. Yeah, well, yeah, you're being bombarded by, you know, these drugs that are hidden in the food that, you know, make you more hungry, so you'll buy more of their products, which are not nutritious, which will make you eat more of it, and it's just this endless cycle of, you know, overweight people just being confused of why they got that way. You know, Americans are actually getting thinner starting, I think it's this year, there was a, maybe it was last year, a little tick down in the uh, the, the spread of uh, Americans' waistlines. You believe that? I don't know. I mean, it, I guess it depends on where you live. I mean, in California, you know, the health food stores are very popular and, and they're crowded. I live in Oklahoma. I can, you know, it's a little bit different over here. I'm just uh, saying, I, do, do you think that Oklahomans are bigger than they were two years ago? We're not talking about a general trend. Uh, I think that in a general trend, Americans are still fatter than they were two decades ago. But this is just talking about the last two years. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, it doesn't really seem to change at all around here. And just here, because they, they've they gotten thinner for two, you know, slightly thinner over the course of two years doesn't mean that they're going to continue to get thinner either. I mean, this is just this is just the stats as they exist currently. Yeah, the prices are rising in these health food stores. I mean, yeah. it's, it's like a, I could barely afford to eat this to well, be healthy. Gas know? is going down. You can drive that little extra distance to get to the health food store. Brian, thanks for the call. 855 450 free. Let's go to Dave calling in from Birmingham. Dave, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, guys. What's going on? Hey, I, I, I have been in the battle trenches on this war on drugs since uh, 1985. Thank you for your service. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and to be honest with you, I mean, I, I quit doing drugs, uh, eh, say, 10 years ago and went back to school and, and got a certificate and, and, but, but I'm still an advocate for cannabis. Um, what do you advocate you know, about it? It's, it's, it, I wish that we would have spent the last four decades researching its potential rather than, uh, classif- classifying it as no use. I mean, th- there's, there's children being saved from, from a terrible, terrible, uh, conditions right now with cannabis. Uh, you know, we've, we've there's even countries business models and co- models of countries that have legalized drugs. Holland, for instance, you know, they're they have legalized drugs and and are educating and and we know it works. The war on drugs does not work. It's not worked. Never has. Yeah, it's, there's a better way of doing it. It's a huge failure, and I would agree with you that I think that marijuana is uh, probably, if they if they have the opportunity to really research it, the source of a lot of drugs that will help a lot of people in a lot of different ways. Yeah. And I think that the biggest hope for it uh, currently is uh, pain relief uh, and doing away with opiates. When I go, right. the few times that I've had to go to a doctor for some injury or something, they want to give me a script for some opiate. I'm not touching that stuff. No yeah, way. My life is more absolutely. valuable to me than a little bit of pain over whatever it is. I've taken one one time, and it was very effective for the incredible amount of pain I had. But what it let me know is I should not be responsible in administering myself this drug. Right. 
Right, right. And the pharmaceutical companies over these last 40, 50 years have controlled our government with money, with lobbyists, and told and, 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 and controlled the FDA. Hold and a second, told Dave. The Are you suggesting that people can use money to buy politicians' uh, favors? <laughs> Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's uh, just, like, just like the, you're suggesting just like that the, the republic doesn't work. The reason they don't want, they don't want to decriminalize marijuana and drugs is because these big police stations, these big fancy police stations, were built on drug money. Whether it came from prosecuting or or seizing, these these buildings were built on drug money. Yep, it was. Uh, was it? I can't remember what the statistics are, but it was the vast majority of, uh, of, of the arrests uh, were marijuana versus the other drugs. So absolutely, it's, absolutely. it's marijuana and, is the problem. And, 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 you know, Thanks for the call, Dave. Appreciate it. 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. Can you think of a good way for marijuana to be legal? Cabino lives in Palcapata, Peru. He buys old appliances like irons, radios, and TV sets, fixes them up, and resells them. He saw an opportunity to expand his business and needed a loan to buy more appliances. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan, and the expansion was a success. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel anytime. Coffee.freetalklive.com. For all of you who are inspired to create your own unique holiday cards and gifts. For all of you, there's Vistaprint.com. At Vistaprint.com, creating personalized holiday cards is simple. Choose from hundreds of designs and add your own photos and special messages. And there's 60% off. Plus, personalized one-of-a-kind gifts are also to 60% off. It's our best deal of the season. But hurry, offer ends December 7th. The only way to get this incredible deal is to go to Vistaprint.com, click the microphone in the upper right corner, and enter code RADIO60. Vistaprint.com, code RADIO, the word 60. It's that time of year again, and you know what that means. Cold and flu season. <coughs> but don't worry. HerbalHealer.com has you and your loved ones covered with our safe and natural products. Cold and flu fighters like beta-glucans, olive leaf antiviral capsules, grapefruit seed extract, HHA for herb capsules, elderberry power, and respirate. And don't forget about oregacillin for the lungs, normally $34.95, on sale now for only $25. Vitamin D3, 120-count soft gels, only $9. Whole body and homeopathic detoxes for the lungs, kidneys, liver, lymph, and brain, normally $26.95, now just $20. HerbalHealer.com also offers correspondence courses to teach you how to handle your health naturally. And as always, new customers get a free 128-page catalog with your order. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click the Winter Specials button to save on our natural cold and flu-fighting products. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. If you're looking for work, it's a process of elimination, and you're trying not to be eliminated. So here's a tip for making the cut, and this might seem subtle, but to the person interviewing you, it's not. There is a world of difference between applicants who convey, I need a job, and those who simply ooze, I want a to work, especially in these lean times when many you're competing with will seem desperate in I'll take anything mode. If you convey specific interest in this job at this company, you will be conspicuous. Thus, the value of going to school on the company you're applying to before the interview. With money and attention so tight now, effective communication skills have never been more important. For more tips for job seekers and everyone else, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or... 
go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Live, 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. You can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind. It's Mark with you. And Johnson. Keeping the phone lines warm for you. You know, <laughs> a lot of people worry. You know, They're upset that people on the radio aren't talking about the things they want them to talk about. Sometimes we'll even get emails. Or people will call in and say they'll be angry that we're not talking about the issue that they, they want to talk about because that issue they want to talk about is important. I wouldn't argue that they, the issue they want to talk about is important. But really, uh, Free Talk Live, 855-450 free, you can call in and bring up that issue, whatever it is, whatever issue you're outraged that America is not talking about. And we're on dozens of radio stations, so you know you'll get your, you'll get your message out. Speaking of the people listening on dozens of radio stations, I have a message for you. There are decadent, fresh, juicy, sweet, and irresistible berries available to you from at Cherry's Berries. That's berries.com. Starting at just $19.99, it's over a 40% savings. Or you can double the berries, and I highly recommend doubling the berries for just $10 more. You just need to use our code. It's FTL. You go to berries.com, B-E-R-R-I-E-S.com, and you click on the microphone in the upper right-hand corner, and you, you enter in FTL, and you'll get this great deal because these are I, – I hate to be superlative, but I think these are the best-tasting things I've ever eaten. They're so good. I mean, obviously, uh, it's, it's difficult to compare it to, say – a nice steak, but man, oh man, these Sherry's beers are good. I bet those would pair well with a nice steak, actually. Uh, for, de- for dessert, it certainly would. Uh, so Christmas is coming next week. This is a great opportunity to get for, I don't know, mom, dad, husband, wife, uh, aunts, uncles, you know, the wealthy ones that are going to leave you money. This is what you want to <laughs> give them. <laughs> Nineteen ninety nine for Sherry's berries or $10 more to double double it. I recommend that. Berries.com, microphone in the upper right-hand corner, coupon code FTL. Or you can call them at 866-FRUIT-02. It's 866-FRUIT-02 or berries.com. <laughs> Do you remember that, Jimmy? He had those wonderful berries. Let's leave him the house. <laughs> well, you can't deny that positive feelings That's make true. people feel more have- generous. <laughs> You know, if you've got, say, a brother or sister that you don't like that much, now's an opportunity to really get a leg up on over them uh, <laughs> when it comes to the inheritance thing. Let's go to Laura calling in from, I believe, Kentucky. Laura, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Yes, uh, three things. Um, uh, the uh, addiction I have worse is sugar and uh, usually chocolate with nuts. Yeah, and, uh, you know, chocolate has been shown to actually people that consume chocolate on a regular basis a little thinner than those that don't. Huh. Yeah, you know, I'm skinny, but I still eat a lot of it. Okay. But anyway, uh, okay, and also uh, I was so surprised when I first met some Amish that the young people were drinking Mountain Dew. Yeah, that is interesting. Now, I come yeah. from a place, uh, Sarasota, Florida. They have a little community called Pinecraft. This is the Amish Resort. The Amish and the Mennonite come from all over the east down to Sarasota, Florida to hang out with the other Amish and Mennonites who are down there. And they rollerblade. Um, you know, you, it's really funny to see a young gal with a bonnet and a plain dress on rollerblades. But they sure do it. So I, I guess yeah. I guess I'm not too surprised. No, I was because because this was just the young, the young folks, and then yeah. one of the girls worked at the uh, grocery store. I couldn't believe it. I looked like they ran across the street to the um, filling station, and <laughs> I just I just keep shaking my head. I can't believe it, you know. But another thing, I was in the local paper. Uh, Kentucky's allowing a little bit of hemp projects. And okay. Of it's all about the money. Yeah. And I read it today that uh, you have to furnish the uh, global positioning coordinates for the property. Of course, you got to. Probably pay a fee, and you got to have a background check, and all this good stuff. It's all about the money. 
Yeah, you know, it makes you wonder what they would do if they found a hemp farm as opposed to a marijuana farm. I mean, obviously, the reason people grow mar- marijuana is it's far more lucrative. Hemp, it's not worth it to grow illegally, and people would do it. But I just wonder, you know, there's somebody out there. There's some cantankerous cuss in Kentucky that's, I'm not telling the government about my hemp farm. And I just wonder, you know, what what would they do in that circumstance? Are they really going to roll the bearcat in? I don't know. They use uh, uh, airplanes and helicopters to fly over the property. Yeah. You hear them out there in the summertime. But anyway, I mean. I thought it was just the black ones after me. (laughs) I've never messed with it, but I think people have the right to do all this, especially with him. I mean, because my house in Louisville that we moved from, it was like two blocks from Farmington, and that was one, I found out that was one of the biggest hemp farms around there. Yeah, Farm. hemp. Hemp's an amazing product that can really do some incredible things. You can eat it. Yeah, yeah I've eat got it. it the- build with it. Uh, there's all kinds of. They're, they're making hip sure. hemp blocks. And and you can fabrics too. I yeah, of course fabrics. And I hope they can make them a little less coarse. The uh, the the hemp fabrics I've seen over time are, you know, they could double as a burlap bag. Yeah, probably. But anyway, that's just my two cents. I just think it's ridiculous. This uh, country is so. People have allowed all this stuff to happen, to, or, or rights have eroded away, and I try to tell the young people about it, but they just kind of look at your blaze eyes. Thanks so much for the call, Laura. Okay, thank you then. Bye-bye. Bye. I'm just trying to imagine that con- commercial of, you know, like, well, nothing refreshes Jedediah and Ezekiel more after a long day of using their feet wheels than the dew of the mountain. <laughs> yeah, I... I, I, they'll take pictures. I know that much. So you could you, you could have them in a commercial. There's no doubt about it. The, so they're not a digital camera. I don't know. A good friend of mine was raised Old Order Amish, and he decided to leave the community. And it's not easy when you don't have. I mean, it's not like young people in the Amish communities make a lot of money, and so getting out of there difficult once you have made money you've got roots you've got a wife you've got uh, you know three kids because you're not using protection or whatever it is and you're not leaving right so it's it was difficult for him to go but he managed to pull it off and 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 get out of the the amish community but uh, you know i mean it's 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 a funny group that we have a lot of uh, positive thoughts for because they're hardworking folks. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they wonderful furniture. Yeah, they make they make good good <laughs> furniture. Um, you know, they they work hard and and you really can't say too much bad about sure them. Sure, can raise a barn. <laughs> <laughs> There's always that. And in Sarasota, Florida, where uh, there was a period of time when they were doing most of the building. Right. And we, if you buy a house that's built in that time frame, you've bought a real good house. Yeah. So. I mean, in, in, there's always these clues. There's the, there's only a few Amish last names. There's Yoder, Gingrich. Uh, uh, what what are some of the others? Troyer. I don't know. Yeah. Schwartz and Trooper. Uh, <laughs> Graber. I mean, there's very few of them, and they're all these uh, obviously German names. People mm-hmm. that came over Anabaptists who didn't believe that you should be Baptist baptized until you were an adult. And, of course, they had to be killed for that. And, you know, this is what happened with so many uh, religious groups at that time. They came over here to get away. Uh, Penn, William Penn, wrote uh, wrote a letter. He had Pennsylvania. It was all about religious freedom. Said, hey, if you're having trouble with getting massacred out there by uh, the Germans um, or whatever, you know, I mean, some some, some precursor to, to a German empire at that that time. Why don't you come over here? And so they did. They sent over a few to check it out. And they're like, yeah. Good. And they <laughs> they decided it was a good place, so they right. settled down. And interestingly, these were the Mennonites, um, but the Amish were sort of a spinoff. Uh, they decided that some of the Mennonites were just getting too radical, so they had to uh, spin off and, and be with it. People, a lot of people think the Amish are the originals, but the Mennonites are the originals, and the right. Amish are a spinoff of that. And with Mennonites, you never know. It's it's a much wider spectrum. Some Mennonites drive cars. You would you know you would know you would know no difference except maybe the last name. Other Mennonites are even more conservative than Old Order Amish. Right. So um, you never know. There's uh, there's a there's a group of Mennonites that's in I believe Northern Kentucky that uh, that was having a lot of problems over dealing with the Kentucky government. They didn't want to put that reflective triangle on the back of the of the buggy, right? Because the triangle to them is a religious. Uh, you know, they they believe in the Trinity. They're Trinitarians, right? And so they didn't want to want this thing on the back of the vehicle. 
So there was a big kerfuffle. They weren't going to do it. The Swartz and Trooper Amish or uh, Swartz and Trooper Mennonites. And they just put it like a you know reflective square or a reflective circle or some other. You'd shape. think that you could make it. Of course, the government probably. Like, you can't do. They have to be a triangle. They were willing to put <laughs> reflective tape on the back right. of their buggy, but the government wanted the triangle, yeah. and so they were throwing. You better her in respect jail. our Thord. <laughs> And God bless the Amish. They're not willing to give up. Right. They're not. They're not going. You know, to them. You know, their right. their treasures in heaven. Right. <laughs> you know, screw you, people, right, and all your right. stuff. I live in a barn with no electricity. What are you going to do to me? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I cut my hair with a bowl. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going down like a chump. And so they just wouldn't do it. And it's. I mean, talk. There's no no harder heads than the world than Amish heads. So anyway. I, I think they're very interesting folks to look at. 855 450 free free talk live. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. You've heard of Black Friday doorbuster deals. Well, don't miss Lumber Liquidator's floor buster deals. Get incredible discounts on your favorite floors at one-time only prices. There's never been a better time to get a great deal on pre-finished hardwoods, hand-scraped hardwoods, gorgeous bamboo, top quality laminates, and get 26 months special financing. Plus, get even more floor buster discounts in our stores. The sale ends Tuesday. So these deals will not wait until after the holidays. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Thursday, December 18th, 2014. Gold is trading around $1,194. Silver around $15.88. And Bitcoin's trading around $311.73. Today's precious metal prices brought to you by Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800 686 2237. That's 800 686 2237. Support for today's edition of the Liberty Beat comes from eFoods Direct Storable Food, redefining the way you think about storable food. Learn more at eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat. In the news, on Wednesday, President Obama announced major changes in United States policy towards Cuba. Obama stated that a deal was struck with the nation to release three Cuban agents in exchange for two Americans, including an unnamed intelligence agent and U.S. aid subcontractor, Alan Gross. The president said he instructed Secretary of State John Kerry to reestablish diplomatic relations with Cuba. He also stated that Kerry would reevaluate Cuba's designation as a state sponsor of terrorism. Late Wednesday, the U.S. government announced they believed North Korea was responsible for a recent cyber attack on Sony Pictures. The Associated Press reported the investigators had concluded the isolated nation was behind the hack, likely in response to the planned release of the comedy, The Interview. The film features actors Seth Rogen and James Franco playing characters who attempt to assassinate the North Korean leader. Sony Pictures also announced on Wednesday that the film would not be released on Christmas Day 
as was scheduled. Diné, or Navajo communities in the Black Mesa region of northeastern Arizona, have continued to oppose mining operations on their land in the face of SWAT team raids and animal theft. The Black Mesa communities say Hopi Rangers, working with the Federal Bureau of Indian Affairs, or BIA, and the Department of the Interior, raided their land and impounded 300 sheep. Authorities accused the Navajo of exceeding the amount of sheep allowed by permit. The Navajo believe the theft is related to Peabody Energy's coal mining operations in the area. The Navajo Nation Tribal Council released a letter accusing the federal government of instigating the raids and attempting to force them off the land. The Liberty Beat is sponsored by My Magic Mud, Detox Fine Tooth Powder, the most effective and affordable dental care around. Get a 150 application jar at MyMagicMud.com. This broadcast is also made possible by the Conscious Resistance Network. Videos, news reports, and articles from a spiritual anarchist perspective. Experience the Conscious Resistance at TheConsciousResistance.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, December 18th, 2014. Check out the website at TheLibertyBeat.com. A lawsuit has been filed against the City of San Diego and the San Diego Police Department in an effort to obtain records related to policies, rules, and procedures used with cell phone surveillance technology. The First Amendment Coalition said the SPDP has an obligation to tell San Diego citizens that it's using the invasive technology and to describe the steps it's taking, if any, to protect citizens' privacy rights. Cell site simulators, also known as stingrays, allow law enforcement to gather information about phone calls, location, contacts, and sometimes the content of conversations. Law enforcement is not required to get a warrant before using the technology. Imprisoned whistleblower Chelsea Manning celebrated her 27th birthday with letters, cards, poems, and art from people from around the world, including celebrities and fellow whistleblower Edward Snowden. Manning is currently serving a 35-year sentence at the Maximum Security U.S. Disciplinary Barracks, Fort Leavenworth. Edward Snowden wrote that Manning has inspired an angry public to demand a government that's accountable for its perpetration of torture and other war crimes. Other notes came from filmmaker Terry Gilliam, rapper Lupe Fiasco, and poet Saul Williams. The Liberty Beat is supported by Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. Want to reach tens of thousands of like-minded listeners every day with your messenger product? The Liberty Beat is looking for sponsors for their daily news service. Support this grassroots media project while expanding your reach to a targeted market. To find out details, visit thelibertybeat.com slash advertise. This is The Liberty Beat for Thursday, December 18th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagen reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. If you're just tuning in, a horrific accident, dozens are dead and hundreds more injured after the Coors Light party train crashed in Pratt, Kansas. The train was barreling through a field on its way to liven up a boring overheated barbecue when something went wrong. Partiers were thrown hundreds of feet from the train as the frost-powered locomotive careened through bystanders at its normal speed of over 27,000 miles per hour. Rescue crews are struggling to get close to the crash. The Rocky Mountain frost radiating from the down silver bullet is flash freezing survivors' bodies as they try to escape the wreckage, and the OJ's hit song Love Train is looping at deafening levels. No word yet on the cause of the accident, but investigators are focusing now on the fact that the train weighs 400 million tons and was not on rails. Coors Light has released the following statement, quote, Coors Light regrets any loss of life caused by the Coors Light party train's raw, frosty power. Please continue to enjoy Coors Light. We'll have more on this story as it develops. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. It's Mark with you. And Johnson. 855-453. You can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind. We've been all over uh, the map tonight talking about teen drug use being down, teen e-cigarette use being up, Amish freedom fighters, and the movie The Interview. I want to get back to that, actually. We have a little bit more um, information on that. But let's first go to Dave calling in from New Hampshire. Dave, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey, 
guys. I wanted to uh, provide you an update regarding the uh, Oathkeeper baby case. Oath Oathkeeper baby case? You remember the Oathkeeper baby? Her dad was, uh, they took the baby away partly because her dad was a member of Oathkeepers. I remember vaguely, but was this a case where they sort of trotted his name through the mud after that? Sure, although I don't think it was any, you know, I mean, the mud trotting wasn't particularly strong. It was no stronger than usual. Okay. Was this a public figure. the case of with Jonathan Irish? Is that the uh, guy? Correct. His name was, yeah, his name was Jonathan Irish. Okay. Yeah, I've had personal interaction with him. Go ahead. Now, after Update this, us. After this case, um, the uh, family was targeted after no one was paying any, att any attention to them. Yeah, um, that's how it happens. And uh, Jonathan in particular was targeted, but again, apparently his wife was kind of dragged into it. Um, and uh, they got their baby back initially back in, in 2010, but uh, a couple, couple three years later, the uh, the feds seemed to pull, so, pull sort of a Randy Weaver on him. Where okay. They, where some agents, I guess they were FBI agents, and apparently Phil Cristiano was involved because his wife mentioned him. Um, they sold him, or they had, they tried to get him to build them some rifles, I guess, and they must have made specifications that were illegal. Yeah, that's okay. what he does for a living. He's a rifle maker? Okay. He's, he's a rifle, yeah. Well, it's part of what he does. I don't know what it, all, all of this is. But I'm glad to have more rifle makers in New Hampshire, and um, I'm angry that they targeted him. He went to trial, or he was supposed to go to trial on December, uh, December 11th. And I have a, an email here from his uh, wife indicating what happened. Uh, she says, quote, well, on December 11th, which was the first day of the trial, trial never began. They convinced him that if he went to trial, he would not win, and that whereas I was being called as a witness, then somehow they would end up charging me with obstruction to justice, witness tampering, up to four to five weapons charges. And either way, he would be in jail, I would be in jail, and Cheyenne would be sent to foster care. Long yeah, that's what they do to you. Long story, Jonathan took a plea deal to protect us all. He'll be home sometime uh, in mid to end of February 2016. Well, I'm glad it's a short uh, sentence uh, that he's gotten, but I mean, this just shows, this, it really just goes to show the miscarriage of justice. Um, it's far fewer than 99% of arrests result in a trial. 97% um, of people who are arrested plea out. And about it's a it's a 66 percent of people who take a case to trial are found guilty and you'd think that the people taking cases to trial were ones like this guy who believed in their own innocence but oftentimes people taking their cases to trial are people who have nothing to lose too so you really get this whole mixed up system but i just find it very difficult to believe that uh, that we're dealing with a situation where the government is so efficient so an organization that's so inefficient at dealing with everything else is so efficient at dealing with crime that they get it right, uh, you know, far they get it wrong far fewer than one percent of the time. I just can't believe that. No, they don't. Uh, and it, the other thing is frustrating is you know it wasn't bad enough to take his baby away from him once. They had to do it. They had to threaten to do it again. Uh, you got to shut up. Let me ask. That's what uh, dissent is the only crime. Dave, have you had any personal interactions with the family? Yeah, I interviewed both him and his wife back in, you know, 2012, I guess, or no, 2010, when this whole... Anything outside of a formal interview situation? Not really, no. Okay, I'm just curious, because I, I, I had had some interactions, and I... Whew, Jonathan Irish, um, it was an interaction online where he uh, was attacking... I mean, we, we all know, and we've talked to in the past, uh, an activist by the name of Taryn Lupo... Um, you know, he's advertised on Free Talk Live. He's an author and, and uh, whatnot. And he, 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 he's got a sense of humor to him. And he had a picture online of um, himself as photoshopped into a picture of, um, with like Burt Reynolds, like bare chested Burt Reynolds with like cats on his chest or something like that. And this guy, what Jonathan, else would you do? this guy, he's just meant to be funny and self deprecating. And this guy, Jonathan Irish, online, he just lost his mind about how he hated cats and how what an egotistical moron Taryn was for having this as his user picture. It was just unbelievable. Um, so, you know, if there's something wrong with him uh, that leads him to do something bad, then, you know, 
uh, there should be consequences for doing the bad thing. But I yeah. Could no, I what he says, you know, I could care less whether he builds a rifle. I mean, these, these people who are prosecuting him, those make those people make DU ammunition and fire it. Yeah. And no, I. Foreign countries. You know, it's just. Uh, the, the problems with Jonathan Irish, whatever they might be, are so small compared to the problems with the high horses who are going after him. I agree 100%. I just, you know, I it, it just, I hate when these situations come around when, when you know, there's a child involved and it's just, it looks really bad when, um, you know, tempers get flared. And I guess the, the point that I'm making is that, you know, if you're involved in this kind of situation, just try and keep your nose clean. Don't be going around, uh, you know, yelling at people about how much you hate their cats um, <laughs> when when you're involved in this kind of a, a situation. You know, <laughs> you know, it just it doesn't it doesn't make too much logical sense to be doing that when you're involved in this kind of a, a national level uh scene i wonder i mean you know i've heard a lot of people sort of make anti-cat jokes and i'm fine with that if you have a preference cats dogs whatever um you know okay if this is the argument we're gonna have awesome let's have it um i'm of the opinion that a cat is the most manly of pets because <laughs> it doesn't need care you don't have to take you don't have to help a cat poop um whereas a dog you absolutely have to do that right. <laughs> so Whatever. Well, I do want to make clear. Also, he was in he was in jail for months before this, so it's uh, part of this is time oh, served. Okay. Got a slap on the wrist from the feds. I don't know how many months Ugh. total he's getting. It's a lot more than just here to February. Okay. I'm sorry. That's what that I was my rifle uh... makers. I want more rifle makers in New Hampshire, and I want my nation of New Hampshire to stop being occupied by this foreign country from Washington. Thanks for the call, yeah. Dave. Eight eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. So I had photoshopped a picture of Jonathan Irish uh, where he was like I, he had one picture on his Facebook profile that was available to the public, and I okay. took that picture and I photoshopped him in with hundreds of cats. <laughs> and I, then I started telling him, "I'm like, it's clear that you love cats. Stop saying that you didn't." You know, he, he did not like that. Didn't think much. that was funny, huh? <laughs> Let's go to Alma calling in from Tallahassee. Alma, you're on Free Talk Live. Is this Mark? It is. Yes, ma'am. Uh, hey, sweetie, uh, way off of everything in honor of Christmas, I love trivia questions. If I hear it on the radio, I got to call in and try to answer it. Okay. And I called about where do you get the coal in your stocking from? And what? I've never had a call screener get upset and voice quiver as this little fella did when I was telling him that it came from Krampus. Really? You know who, yes, Krampus. I do know who Krampus is. Krampus is the Christmas demon. Yeah, he's Satan. And I'm telling you, brings your coal and switches, and he'll take you straight to hell. And I sit down for 10 minutes, and I said, oh, my God, I scared the life out of that child. I said, I got to call him back and talk to him. He says, I'm all right, ma'am. <laughs> but it was in the honor of Christmas. And I have two sisters that won't give me a Christmas card back, and I emailed them, Grampus. I said, you don't give me a Christmas card. Grampus is going to get you. That's right. So <laughs> Santa Claus is the carrot. Krampus is the stick. And this yes. is a legitimate German fairy tale that's out there. Yes, and, exactly. And, and Krampus will get your butt if you have been bad all year. There's no doubt about it. You know, I always told everybody I hate to get mean because I can be mean. I hate you mean to me, I get mean back. And I'll tell you. When you die, I'll make a handbag for you, throw it in your casket, and you can ride the hell in it. Eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. Krampus, the Christmas demon. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. Hi, everyone. I'm Chuck Woolery. After putting a few thousand couples together on Love Connection, you know that nothing kills romance faster than bad breath. Smart Mouth gets at the cause of bad breath without the burn. 
and you get clean breath for about 12 hours. Other mouthwashes only prevent bad breath for about an hour. Gum and mints, well, they just cover it up. Use Smart Mouth in the morning for great breath all day. Rinse in the evening for clean, kissable breath all night. You can even wake up without morning breath. Smart Mouth, for 12 hours of real clean breath, Look for the green box at your favorite store. Adam Miller here with Midas Resources. Today, December 12th, 2014, gold opened at 1216.60. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1261.34, 630.67 for a half ounce, or 315.33 for a quarter ounce. That's 1261.34, 630.67, and 315.33. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. Free Talk Live. Well, I'm a working police officer. I'm actually on duty in a small town in Central Texas. I've been doing this job 10 years. 99% of what you guys talk about is dead on. We got guys getting into this profession just to wear a badge and play God. Mm. It's getting worse and worse. There used to be a couple of decent guys that I worked with. Both of them have quit. Why did they quit? Well, it's because of the BS. We can't help the people that actually need help, which is what you get into this job to do if you're, if you're a good person. It's interesting that whenever honest cops call in like you, we get the same story, that the corruption rises through the ranks, that the good guys, the guys like you that got in to make a difference and actually help people and catch the real bad guys, the guys like you end up getting frustrated by the system, frustrated by the corruption and the bureaucracy, and they end up quitting, which of course means that more bad guys can move in and move up through the ranks. Is anything that, that, inaccurate about that? No, sir. That's my point entirely. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. You can give us a call and talk about whatever's on your mind, including Krampus the Christmas Demon. <laughs> <laughs> I love Krampus. I think this is a great story. You know, it just goes to show what a, what a nation of softies we are. We've got the Santa Claus thing going on, but oh no, we couldn't incorporate that whole Krampus part of the myth. So Krampus is the Christmas Demon, is the, uh, if you're, this is what happens to the naughty kids. Mm -hmm. Christmas demon gets them, gives them coal or whatever. So it's good stuff. Nonetheless, it's Mark with you. And Johnson. Since we're talking about the holiday season, you're probably going to be doing some shopping online. You probably have done some, and you may do some still. Please do that shopping through shop.freetalklive.com. When you're using Amazon, Walmart, we've got a few other retailers there, Newegg among them. It's shop.freetalklive.com. It gives us, you get the same prices, the same service that you normally get. We get a little spiff for referring you. So head on through there. You'll help us out at shop.freetalklive.com. 
Now, earlier in the show, as a matter of fact, when we started, we were talking about this movie, The Interview, which is a comedy movie about apparently two you know, wacky slapstick reporters yeah. go and attempt to assassinate Kim Jong Un. And strangely, North Korea is not taking well to this. So I, I, there's been a, there was a hacking. Uh, many of the mm -hmm. uh, Sony personnel had their information taken. And now Sony's said they're not going to release the movie at all in the United States. Right. And a lot of the theaters have said that, too. And they're saying that because they're afraid of North Korea, right? Or, or that's the, the implication. I can't imagine. There, I'm crazy. not afraid of North Korea. It's crazy. I don't understand that. But Kim Jong-un, you're a pudgy little cake eater. I, I don't, you're not scared. <laughs> I'm not scared of you, you little, you little chubster. <laughs> like, I don't care. Why right. do they care? Well, they're, supposedly they're scared of this, you know, this hack. And apparently, I've got an article here that says that the evidence that North Korea, Korea was actually even involved in a hack on Sony is flimsy at best. Okay. And this is from Wired. I didn't, I didn't believe it at all. Wired, the company that can't get their uh, their panoramas right on their their photos for the last three days. Um, I go over there, I can't see a picture right, uh, and everybody else is complaining about it too. It's not just me. Well, I'm not even aware of this. Yeah, well, um, Wired is not on my uh, high list right now. <laughs> but <laughs> I didn't believe that North Korea had what it took to do any hacking. Everything we've seen about computers in North Korea says they're clueless. Well, here's the article. Uh, today, Sony canceled the premiere of the interview and its entire Christmas Day release of the movie because of fears that terrorists might attack theaters showing the film. Really? North Korean terrorists? <laughs> I mean, you'd think that you'd be able to keep a, a, a list of all the North Koreans that are out of North Korea. Right. It can't be that long. Yeah. The action this show is why I don't believe that they did any hacking, because yeah. to hack, they'd have to have access to the internet. If they right. had access to the internet, they'd know just how much of a crap hole they live in, and the next time they had an opportunity to leave, they would. Right. The actions show just how much power the attackers behind Sony hack have amassed in a short time, but who exactly are they? Well, the New York Times reported this evening that North 4chan. Korea. Yeah, <laughs> the New York Times reported this evening that North Korea is essentially involved in the hack, citing unnamed U.S. intelligence officials. It's unclear from the Times report what centrally involved means, and whether the intelligence officials are saying that the hackers were state-sponsored or actually agents of the state. Times notes also that it is not clear if the United States came to its determination that the North Korean regime played a central role in the Sony attacks. The public evidence pointing at the hermit kingdom is flimsy. Other theories of attribution focus on hacktivists motivated by ideology, politics, or something else, or disgruntled insiders who stole— Hacktivists. Yeah. What would hacktivists care about? I mean, who out right. there is supporting North Korea? Well, this is a good theory, too. Or disgruntled insiders who stole the data on their own or assisted outsiders in gaining access to it. Recently, the finger I'm has still pointed taking, in China. Uh, right. China is what where, where I was ready to go with this, because it only made sense to me. China, yeah, they know all about hacktivists. They're doing a very good job of it, and it just sounds for all the world like North Korea goes in China, China, they made a movie about assassinating our dear leader. So in the service of unraveling the attribution, the attribution mess, we examined the known evidence for and against North Korea. Attribution is difficult, if not impossible. First off, we have to say that the attribution in breaches is difficult. Assertions uh, about who is behind any attack should be treated with a hefty dose of skepticism. Okay. Skilled hackers use proxy machines and false IP addresses to cover their tracks or plant false clues inside their malware to throw investigators off their tracks. Trail. When hackers are identified and apprehended, it's generally because they've made mistakes or because a cohort got arrested and turned informant. Gotcha. The nation-state attacks often can be distinguished by their level of sophistication and modus operandi, but attribution is no less difficult. It's easy for attackers to plant false flags that point to North Korea or to another nation as the culprit. And even right, well, in this case, North Korea would benefit from looking like the culprit. Even yeah. if they weren't, yeah. if they were incapable of being of, of doing the hacking, but they were credited with the hacking, it'd be like, fear us, we are <laughs> North Korea. You know, they're constantly bellowing about right. how big and bad they are. There's this little crap hole that uh, sits in the dark most of the time. 
Yep. So even when an attack appears to be nation state, it can be difficult to know if the hackers are mercenaries acting alone or with state sponsorship. Some hackers work freelance and get paid by a state only when they get access to an important system or useful intelligence. Others work directly for a state or military. Then there are hacktivists who can be confused with state actors because their geopolitical interests and motives jibe with a state's interests. Distinguishing between all of these can be impossible unless you're an intelligence agency like the NSA with vast reach into computers around the world and can uncover evidence about attribution in ways law enforcement agents legally cannot. So let's look at what's known. Sony and the FBI deny connection to North Korea. First of all, Sony and the FBI have announced that they've found no evidence so far to tie North Korea to the attack. Two new reports, however, indicate that intelligence officials who are not permitted to speak on the record have concluded that the North Koreans are behind the attack. But they have provided no evidence to support this, and without knowing even what agency the officials belong to, it's difficult to know what to make of the claim. Well, yeah, that's that's what's really difficult, is, is if you're a reporter and you've got a source inside the government, and that source doesn't want to be named. You can be certain of it. Um, they, I mean, you're going to report what they say. If they say, yeah, yeah, yeah it looks like North Korea did it, um, all you can do is report it, but they're not going to give you any evidence. How could they? They're an unnamed source. And this is the problem with the secrecy that surrounds the United States government. If the United States government, if people inside the United States government know that North Korea um, is capable of this, Shouldn't I, as the person, uh, one of the people that makes the decision as to who's going to run this government, I make the you know decisions, I vote for the president, I vote for Congress, I vote for these people, shouldn't I know that? I mean, don't I have, as a voter, yeah. the right to, for this information? Otherwise, I'm just voting in the dark. Right. I think that's the real conundrum when it comes to democracies, especially democracies of, in, in the form of a superpower, is you can never know. You're voting blindly. And you're usually, your choices stink. Take a look at the Democrat and Republican Party for a minute, would you? 855-450-FREE. Who do you think did this hacking? 855-450-3733. Knowledge of the ancients. Tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. That's ancientdefense.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The Empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Stouffer's, helping bring your family together with wholesome dinner options, even on the busiest of nights. Find dinner table ideas to bring your family together at Let'sFixDinner.com. To get kids involved in dinnertime conversation, ask specific questions, not broad ones. Instead of what happened today at school, try what was the best thing that happened today. The more specific you are, the more they'll have to say. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. 
Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Do you need access to money? Do you need cash today? If you are receiving a structured settlement due to a lawsuit, or you are receiving pension payments over a long period of time, the Money Settlement Hotline can get you instant funding now. With your cash today, you can pay off credit card debt, pay medical bills, fund your education, or improve your home. You don't need to wait. It's true. If you're receiving a structured settlement or pension payment spread out over time and you want a lump sum amount immediately, then you need to call now. They will turn your long-term structured settlement or pension payments into a lump sum larger cash payout, so you'll get all of your money instantly. If you have a structured settlement or pension and you want cash today, call the Money Settlement Hotline right now. 888-785-0616. 888-785-0616. That's 888-785-0616. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. You can give us a call, talk about whatever's on your mind here in the final hour of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Johnson. So we have been talking about In Freedom's Cause, and if you haven't gotten it yet, I really recommend that you do. This is going to be like a great Christmas gift, especially for the young people in your life, but the, I wouldn't say it's exclusively that. It's uh, the history buffs will like it. This is basically a it's an audio experience. It's like a movie in your mind. It has big name actors. It has its own uh, soundtrack and uh, what they call that score. It has its own score. It's incredibly well produced. All you have to do is go to infreedomscause.com and listen to the little sample that they have right there. And you will see what high-level audio this is. And it's the uh, historically accurate story of William Wallace and Robert the Bruce, the struggle for freedom and independence of Scotland. And I think that you're going to walk away knowing much more than you would say if you, oh, I don't know, watched him historically inaccurate movies about uh, William Wallace. And there's, you know, one glaring one out there. As a matter of fact, the actor, one of the actors, James Cosmo from Braveheart, is in this, and it shows you just how uh, ah, big, big time this is. I'm right. I was just, you know, this is like great, you know, it's James Cosmo from Braveheart. You guys have never mentioned the fact that he's also from Game of Thrones. Okay. Well, I, I, <laughs> I, I picked it up Game and I, I picked it up and looked at the back of it. I'm like, oh, I recognize that guy and I don't really remember. And Braveheart's so long ago. It is. You know, and I, I, I picked it up. I'm like, oh, it's that guy from Game of Thrones. He's like one of the main characters uh, in, you know, uh, um, one of the guys who's behind the wall, one of the... Uh, Oh, I can't remember what they call them. The Watch. And, uh, yeah, he's like the leader of The Watch. I did not know that. Yeah, um, and, and uh, Game of Thrones. I mean, so, yeah, that's that's definitely something I think that should be worth mentioning. Big time name um, acting names like, uh, of course, James Cosmo, who's apparently in Game of Thrones. You can go get it at a special discount because the, uh, the, the creator of this producer of this, Bill Hyde, he really wants Free Talk Live listeners, uh, freedom lovers to get this because of the what he calls subliminal freedom message. He believes that you can uh, spread this to your friends and family members and really, uh, you know, it, it gets the liberty message across to them in a way that they wouldn't otherwise. In freedomscause.com, use coupon code FTL to save 50% off the family four pack. That's in freedomscause.com, coupon code FTL. And you should also mention that James Cosmo is also in Sons of Anarchy. Is he really? Yeah, another major show. <laughs> there you go. 
Um, he's not in Harry Potter, though. No, he's not in Harry Potter. And, well, I was going to ask you if you knew who... Uh, um, my, my brain is not working well tonight. But uh, who uh, the author of Harry Potter was... J- J.K. Rowling. Yes, and... Um, she has made an interesting statement recently in an op-ed that she wrote for The Guardian um, on, uh, actually, is this Thursday today? Apparently, she wrote this today, um, saying that it's time that we left orphanages to the fairy tales. Okay. Just she writes fairy thing. tales. Right. Rowling called for a closure of all of the world's orphanages. Which hold roughly eight million children across eight the million globe. children. All yeah. right, so uh, across the globe, according to Rowling, most children in orphanages have parents that could care for them, but the children have been removed from their parents often because of poverty. The idea of any child being taken from their family and locked away all too often in atrocious conditions is particularly poignant at this time of year, Rowling writes. For children in institutions, life too often resembles the darkest of Grimm's fairy tales. Oh, I would agree with that. Rowling founded the charity Lumos, named after a Harry Potter spell, to raise awareness about orphanages. In her op-ed, she writes that Lumos has helped reduce the number of children in institutions by 54% in Bulgaria and has increased the number of foster care parents. She believes that that the world could eliminate its orphanages by 2050. And I just, I, it seems so scary, the idea of, uh, I mean, uh, surely the people, surely orphanages fill, in, fill a niche. They don't really in the Western world much anymore, but um, I think it's bizarre. Let's, uh, I, you can call in about anything. Let's go to James calling in from Arizona. James, you're on Free Talk Live. Yes, last week I checked out a website I'd never heard of, uh, courtesy of you, Minister. Uh, okay. Because you said that, Raw story had a headline that uh, honest uh, that I had a headline about a, a new information about Michael Brown. Okay. And, and forgive me. Uh, they also had another headline that honest to God made me think of Johnson. Uh, may I? It said new lost and ran novel will bring your her crimes against literature to a new generations of jerks. <laughs> yeah, so Johnson. A, it's a pretty clever title. Yeah, and it made me think of Johnson. Not to mention God. Uh, I'm glad that you're I thinking would, of me. No, I believe in it God, makes... and I believe our, our Creator created you and me, and expects the same from both of us, and expects. I, like me I said, I'm glad you're you. thinking of me. Yeah, you're a jerk. That's why I thought of you. I it appreciate was that. I'm but glad that Johnson, I'm in your thoughts. But Johnson, thank you for the thank you, you, had, you for the concern. I know, uh, Johnson. I know you had your butt hurt a couple weeks ago on the Colbert Report. No. Skewered your activist tools. I wasn't heroes. actually. I wasn't actually a part of the Colbert Report, but thank you for the concern. I know, but I know, but on Free Talk Live, you ranted for most of the two weeks ago of your uh, sitting on the show about how the Colbert Report skewered your friends, and you you didn't like how they were editing cl- editing clips to reflect poorly on. Well, thank your you for paying attention to that. Free, free keen amigos. No, so I want to ask you a question. Speaking of your heroes that you also mentioned are Chris Cantwell, Derek Gay, and. Ian Bernard. Uh, yes, Derek is gay, ever, but can't, can't, well, I wouldn't you, call him a hero, but he's a good he's comedian. Gay. I like making fun of him because he's so happy. Oh, good. Uh, but Derek well, that's Gay good because like, we wouldn't want I you to be think of you as question, bigoted. Johnson. Well, you, it, this is if a conversation. This is a radio show. You don't get to rant, but I'm glad that, no, you, uh, that you're yeah, not making fun of him because Randy you're bigoted. part of radio. I'm glad that you're not making Except fun of him because he's bigoted. I'm glad that you're making fun of him because he's bigoted. Except for when Johnson all of a sudden has his tongue tied. I'm glad that you're not making fun of him because he's bigoted, and I don't have my tongue tied. I'm I'm trying to uh, share a thought with you. But you don't Speaking want to listen. Because you didn't like the 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 way Stephen Colbert made your friends look like the activist dorks that they are. That's your opinion, uh, but I appreciate you sharing it. Have you ever seen Derek J's victimless narcissistic crime spree? No, because but I've seen Derek J's victimless crime that spree. That the Colbert report does, and you guys get your rocks off. When it's aim- when the camera's aimed at your dork asses, all of a sudden you don't like it. What's up with that? I don't think that you uh, read freekeen.com, for example, that uh, responded Actually, to the Colbert report very was yeah. very positively. 
I think I think lots of us uh, very much appreciated the attention from the Colbert Report. Yeah. The complaint that I have about keen activism yeah. generally is is that it can make it difficult to live here and be a, a free stater. Is, is that people equate my my living here and being a free stater with uh, Ian's and uh, you know a few small amount of activists' antics. So Mark, that's my complaint. Yes. Ask your sidekick right there to answer the question because he answer like the question, Cole Johnson. <laughs> Wynn has asked you a question. Answer it for God's sake. That's really a good answer. That's not an answer to your live studio audience, by the way. To go read Free Keen, you didn't like it when Cobra Report did it, your dork friends, but Derek J did it for uh, that's not a very nice the, thing to say now, is it, James? James, James is not very nice. James, James, James you're, you're not a very nice person, are you? What nice what would you food, say it makes you the most bitter about the liberty true. movement? What's the what's the thing that, that bothers you the most? That you guys are making fools of the libertarianism that I believe in. And that's quite literally a fact. In fact, you did and it so on what's the libertarianism culture. that you believe in? How does it differ from, say, example, the, the non-aggression principle? The non-aggression who, principle who is something... Who do you hate enough to hurt? You love making fun of people, but when it comes back to you, all of a sudden you get your butt hurt, and you rant and rave you about it. You didn't answer my question. Time. Who do you hate Check. enough to hurt? What, 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 do you, what peaceful people I, do you want to harm? Why don't you like the non-aggression principle, James? Well, I haven't ever harmed a peaceful person on Earth, so what do you accuse me of? Uh, Johnson. Thanks well, so I know you're not. bigoted, so, I mean, that's the question. Yeah, no, you're done with him. 855 yeah. 450 free. Free Talk Live. In a trial by jury, the primary function of a juror is not to dispense punishment to the accused. It is to protect your fellow citizens from being unjustly deprived of their life, liberty, or property. As a juror, you can say no to unjust <laughs> laws and prevent government abuses of power by refusing to convict. Legislative, executive, judicial. The fourth branch of government is we the people. Find out more from the fully informed jury association at FIJA.org. For all of you who are inspired to create your own unique holiday cards and gifts. For all of you, there's Vistaprint.com. At Vistaprint.com, creating personalized holiday cards is simple. Choose from hundreds of designs and add your own photos and special messages. And there's 60% off. Plus, personalized one-of-a-kind gifts are also to 60% off. It's our best deal of the season. But hurry. Offer ends December 7th. The only way to get this incredible deal is to go to Vistaprint.com, click the microphone in the upper right corner, and enter code RADIO60. Vistaprint.com, code RADIO, the word 60. It's that time of year again, and you know what that means. Cold and flu season. <coughs> but don't worry. HerbalHealer.com has you and your loved ones covered with our safe and natural products. Cold and flu fighters like beta-glucans, olive leaf antiviral capsules, grapefruit seed extract, HHA for herb capsules, elderberry power, and respirate. And don't forget about oregacillin for the lungs, normally $34.95, on sale now for only $25. Vitamin D3 120-count soft gels, only $9. Whole body and homeopathic detoxes for the lungs, kidneys, liver, lymph, and brain, normally $26.95, now just $20. Herbalhealer.com also offers correspondence courses to teach you how to handle your health naturally. And as always, new customers get a free 128-page catalog with your order. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click the Winter Specials button to save on our natural cold and flu-fighting products. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons.
So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. Rats is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. Rats was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. Rats is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download Rats free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Eight fifty-five, four fifty-three. Free Talk Live. 855 450 free. An unusual thing has happened. The final segment, no one's on the phone. Yeah. So And it also uh, helps, you know, when we come back for the final segment to turn the microphones on. I had them on. <laughs> I turned them off and then tried to talk into them and that didn't work. So then I had to turn them back on. Oh. Okay. So who knows what I said? Probably said something like, We're back, or 10 seconds or something. <laughs> 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 the boring behind-the-scenes stuff that goes on <laughs> doing a radio program. <laughs> um, anyway, you can give us a call at 855-450-FREE. We might be able to squeeze you in, or it's, uh, as James just called in on Skype, lrn.fm is our username. If you send us a user request, then you can just call us and we'll take the call. So usually Skype sounds a lot better um, than a regular phone call. So it's 855-450-FREE or lrn.fm on Skype. But what we were talking about, before we go on with the, the J.K. Rowling thing, I want to tell you real quick about the AMP program. So Free Talk Live is singular and unique in the world in that we are a completely pro-liberty radio program that's on more than 100 radio stations, more than 150 radio stations around the world. We bring the message of liberty to people who are listening to their radios, maybe the stations that they have Rush Limbaugh on them or Sean Hannity or even their liberal talkers, uh, Tom Hartman, um, you know, these kind of things. Th that isn't happening with the other radio, the, the other liberty programs out there. Most of those are you know, internet programs where you have to go after the program. You have to go get the program and listen to it, which is great. And I'm glad there's some really great programs out there. But Free Talk Live brings it to the masses. So if you like that, what we do that, please go to amp.freetalklive.com. We have a microphone giveaway, by the way, a customized microphone that we're giving away to uh, uh, one lucky amplifier. So please go sign up, get the other AMP perks, like the AMP-only podcast that has no commercials, the AMP-only call-in lines, the AMP-only forum on Facebook that we have, plus the BBS2. It's amp.freetalklive.com. J.K. Rowling wants to do away with orphanages. Yep. Uh, so the final thing that she says here about this is she's, you know, she believes the world could eliminate all of its orphanages by 2015 and believes that the solution is not petty murals or comfier beds or teddy bears. Rowling writes, the solution is no institutions. No institutions. Yep. No schools? I don't know. What? No universities? No prisons? I don't know necessarily what she's saying. I know that the whole essay that she's writing is available on... Um, <laughs> On theguardian.com. Well, I will agree that institutions tend to be dehumanizing, that they weren't, right. they, they aren't de designed to uh, deal with the whole person. It makes me wonder if there's a little bit of a libertarian streak in J.K. Rowling. Yeah, it's, it's, you know. uh, it's very difficult for somebody from uh, Great Britain to uh, develop a good libertarian streak. They're well, yeah. such a cradle-to-grave uh, sort of government over there. But, you know, she seems like she's a little bit outside the system. I mean, of course, when you get that wealthy, too, you get a different perspective on things. <laughs> I'd like to keep <laughs> my money. <laughs> but, uh, 
it's interesting that she's just writing about tearing down these inst- institutions, well, especially she said orphanages. That most of the orphans that are in orphanages, they have parents. It's right. just they're so poor, their kids are taken away from their parents. Right. Now, I have to say that I would I would think that it was wrong to take a kid away from their parents just because they're sure. poor. And it's also not, not to necessarily a better life because a lot of these orphanages are not run well and it's not a good situation. I, I can't imagine that any of them are good. And even if you have more creature comforts, um, you know, if, and I use that really loosely when you're talking about orphanages and third world countries. Um, but if, even if you have more creature comforts, that's nothing compared to being around your parent. Even if it's a, I mean, and I wouldn't say that any no home situation is optimal, but uh, I mean, the, 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 many of them are suboptimal. There's no doubt about it. But I, I think it has to be pretty serious to take a kid away from their home and put them, especially in an institution. We see how the foster system, which is what we have here in the United States, uh, d- terrible results from taking kids away from their parents. I mean, I gotta say, I'm a little bit of a horrible person because right now, mentally, like I just I completely went ADD for a second, and I was thinking of and running through my head songs from the play. I mean, I, I used to be in a lot of musicals when I was a kid, and I was running through my head songs. Annie? songs from the play. No, Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> Is that another one based in a uh... Oliver Twist? You know, okay. it's the one. May I have some more, sir? You know, and like you know, like. There's one like they sing food, glorious food, because it's like all about it's, you know, it's all about these orphans and this orphanage that, you know, are just growing up in this horrible, impoverished lifestyle. Yeah, I'm thinking that 19th century orphanage is probably a little worse than they are today. Um, Maybe, just maybe. Maybe, maybe in the third. I don't know, but maybe not. I mean, you know, supposedly there's lots of uh, like there's this one guy who writes this book of crime. So a monster that talks about how there's actually more slavery in the world than there ever has been in the past. And that's because? Uh, because it's just, it's not even people don't know about it. Like Mexico and the United States have a huge amount of sl- slavery. It's the like United people States being traded. has huge slavery yeah, population? Huge amounts of slavery. Yeah, okay. huge slave population of uh, women being sold in this like, trade, people being brought in from, uh, you know, Eastern Bloc countries that are just being sold for sex slaves in the, uni- in the United States. This is happening and people are completely unaware of it. Yeah, I, I think that. First off, I believe that the entire human condition has been based around slavery uh, for almost all of our existence. Mm. Uh, that, you know, there there was even when you had little tribes of people going around picking bugs out of the ground and eating them, that you had the one guy who was essentially in charge and uh, the rest of them did largely what he said because he'd club them if they didn't. And that it really hasn't changed much throughout history. Uh, you, you hear Plato and Aristotle making arguments for slavery. Right. They they could not yeah. imagine a world without slavery. You think about Utopia, the uh, the authors of uh, you know, these places. They couldn't imagine a world, a perfect world, without slaves. And the paradigms that we have now haven't changed that dramatically much. When you think about chattel slavery from the 19th century here in the United States, you certainly think of black people and uh, the conditions they were in. But you couldn't get a hundred percent work, uh, you know, the fruits. You can get you couldn't get the hundred percent of the fruits of the labor out of uh, a slave because you had to feed them and clothe them and bathe them and uh, give them medical care and house them and all that other stuff. The, the there's a great clip that I would recommend people watch. It's on. It's available on YouTube too, and it's from uh, the Animatrix. Um, if you've heard, have you heard of the Animatrix? No. It was like an animated series. Like there was all these different uh, animations and cartoons, essentially that were based off of the story of the Matrix. Um, and like yes. Really good artists did this, and yes. one of them, or actually two of these, it's like a two part thing called the Second Renaissance. They did a um, a story of the backstory of the uh, Matrix, and so it was like the rising of how the robots came to to, to power to power. But one of we the things we don't know that, what happened. We know that we scorched the sky. <laughs> yeah, that kind <laughs> of story. But what's interesting is is that they were talking about how essentially robots fulfill, started to fulfill the role of slaves and how they were treated, and how sure. as the robots became more intelligent and self aware or whatnot, that they also wanted rights essentially. And it's, I think it's a really interesting story because I feel like it's something that is we're heading towards in terms of reality. That that this that that robots are are certainly coming and are going to start to fulfill these roles, and uh, the question isn't it's I mean it's really it's just it's just a belief right now of whether or not you believe that AI is going to happen. 
You know, if, if AI, if, if artificial intelligence is possible and happens, we are going to have these ethical issues within our the, lifetime. You know? I don't think that's the case. So, for instance, humans just barely want freedom. It's just barely beyond the, the, the middle, the midline as to whether they want freedom or not. You try to tell the average person the fact that they have to pay income tax, a tax on their labor makes them a slave, they will just explode at you uh, with a vitriol. So right. they don't understand freedom very well generally. And most of them will tell you that, oh, we can't have freedom anyway. So they don't want human freedom for humans. The idea that uh, that we're going to let... The first inkling of a robot that says, you know, I think maybe you shouldn't treat me this way, Johnson. I think I shouldn't be treated this way. You're going to deconstruct that and figure out what's wrong with it and reprogram it and make sure it doesn't happen again. Well, there's all sorts of uh, uh, interesting scenarios around that happening, too. And there are some people who would not do that. And those are the people who are going to, you know... Support ro robot rights. Well, there's some people that will build a robot that uh, demands rights at that point, and I think that robot deserves to have rights if that's what he wants. But what's he going to try to do? Liberate all the toasters? I mean, come on. There's all. <laughs> Where do we stop? Where do we? Is it a calculator? Is that a? Is that a? That a, would be up to the robots to decide. But I would think it that, certainly would. I would think that the robots are going to make that same judgment in the same way that a human would, uh, but around uh, the level of intelligence, sentience, uh, and, and self awareness. So yeah. they, I can't imagine that people will try to enslave robots that are that. Um, and you can't. Uh, you can't enslave a robot that truly wants to be free. It's more powerful than you are. Maybe. Well, an individual. More powerful than an individual. But Once it gets a CNC machine on its yeah. side, it's, a, it's more powerful. 855. What am I? No. Freetalklive.com in the meantime and Facebook.freetalklive.com. You've heard on Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because.